Hey! <laughs> Welcome we back to Bohemia, everyone. What? Oh, the two of oh. ours is in Bohemia? That's right. Uh, He's here the whole time? This is actually, uh, this is gonna be canon-ish. Uh, you what? guys will Ooh. see uh, as, light, as we optional? get into it. Yeah. This will affect the campaign. Uh, kind of. <laughs> it, well, out of retirement. No. Don't say uh, that. Uh, you you guys are coming out of retirement. Uh, I am your uh, dungeon master, Brian Murphy, joined as always uh, by uh, Jay Kerwitz. Hard one, sure foot. Oh. Uh, and of course, Emily <laughs> Axford. Right. Moonshine Simon. We're doing this, right? Okay, Moonshine it. Simon. Gonna turn this tomb into a hospitable womb. Ooh, <laughs> very good. And then, of course, we got called Old Tanner. Beverly Togol, the fifth. Tomb Raider, D and D player. There you go. <laughs> sure. Perfect. <laughs> oh you know boy. Um, we're gonna be thinking on our feet a lot. Our one. <laughs> our brains are funk fully yeah, functioning we are. machines. We are running on pure inspiration. Uh, uh, everybody, thank you so much for, uh, we hit this Patreon goal, uh, a while ago and we were waiting to wrap up the Bohemia campaign, um, before, uh, I would be able to DM for 12 hours straight. Uh, <laughs> and here we are. Uh, so we're going to be running the Band of Boobs through the Tomb of Horrors, which is a legendarily difficult, um, kind of bullshit dungeon that oh. really goes out of its way to try to screw the players. Mm. Um, the 5e I'll version is maybe a little bit more fair than some of the older ones, which were completely, as I was reading through it, I was like, this is completely unintuitive and uh, just to punish people, just to punish people. Um, but I think we it'll be funny. It. Uh, and we've got, <laughs> we've got backup characters as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Um, so, uh, thank you to, My backup uh, character is hard one. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jake, will, Jake will just be off the stream. <laughs> I'll go to bed. My backup character is, uh, Jake Hurwitz, which is very interesting. Wow. Yeah. I don't have to wake up to play that guy with you. Right. Um, so we are, we are going to be showing you the map. We're going to, uh, have a roll 20 as soon as we get to it. Um, and we will pull up the map, uh, so everybody can watch the uh, adventure happened live. Um, this is gonna be a little different than the way we normally play the game. Uh, normally, everything is a little bit more fast paced and story driven, and this will be a lot of like tiptoeing through a very dangerous uh, catacomb. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I think that will lead to uh, a lot of laughs um, yeah. and, and hopefully not, not too many tears. Um, but sweet, <laughs> let's get into it. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So, wow. um, wow, we're in the... it already? Oh, okay, oh. sorry. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna go to the map yet. Uh, uh, Beverly eats the first rock he sees. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a regular rock. Uh, you, it's not Moonshine a cursed rock or anything. Moonshine sees Beverly doing this and does the same. Okay, well, I can see your self-preservation. No stuff in this rock. Is but... wonderful as always. You guys are being like weird. A crawdad, but... If you're wouldn't... thirsty, you can suck on a rock. <laughs> I, li I lick a rock also. <laughs> okay, you guys just to are... try it. I'm not you're gonna all, eat this. You're thing. all absolutely gonna die. <laughs> I look um, for a frog to lick. Okay. Let's let's try I'll to get make into it this. thirstier. Okay, guys. So after the band of boobs saved Bohemia, uh, they took off uh, a few months uh, before they began to get antsy. Using various arcane and divine tools to guide you, you began tracking down Akarat's missing uh, phylacteries. As you remember, he had factories Ooh. of phylacteries, um, right. and you were able to destroy all but one that eluded you. After interrogating um, one of his zealots, uh, you learned that his last phylactery was not in this world, but hidden on a demiplane. Um, and then with the help of Moonshine, the elves of Gladeholm, and Bev's divine sense, uh, you were able to track down the last phylactery to a demiplanar desert that can only be reached through a ritual, uh, kind of like when you traveled to the elemental chaos. Ooh. So Mima and the old folks of the Crick have figured out a way to send your consciousness uh, to this demiplane. 
Uh, if you die here, you will be banished and sent back to the material plane, leaving Akarat's phylactery safely hidden so that he may someday rise again. No thanks. We'll just, we'll do it now. Yeah, um, I think we'll handle it. So you all undergo this ritual with me, Mom. You huff in the right. crick water. I took, off, I took off my clothes before we did the ritual. <laughs> As I you should. put on formal tires. <laughs> and Hardwood's just like, well, fuck me. <laughs> you see, Mima, I look at Hardwood, I'm like, Mima wow. is in a, it's in a three-piece suit yeah, and looks so at Hardwood. I literally and figuratively underdressed for this. Yeah. We I'm so yeah, sorry, Hardwood. I should have specified when we cricks get too far outside of our comfort zone, it's sort of a metaphor is that we physically get uncomfortable. You right. Know? And <laughs> as, I, ex as I explained, we need uh, some <laughs> druids of the field here. And at the field, they dress up for Melora. They dress up for Melora. Well, it's too late for me to go home we, and get pants. Get... So can let's just. So you didn't even bring them in like a bag. You left. I, l I walked here nude. Wow. <laughs> I was that confident. Can I, uh, you know, can I apply didn't even body occur paint? To me, huh? <laughs> Can I apply body paint to hard one uh, in the shape of a tuxedo? Uh, yes, Ooh. absolutely. Cool. That's um, awesome. Can I druidcraft a bunch of um? <laughs> can I druidcraft a bunch of flowers to cover his bits? <laughs> I shouldn't have added flavor to this. Uh, but yes. um, you, you Thank flowers you. and all. bees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Bees on his penis. These are these are bumblebees. They're Watch friendly. Out. As long as penis is covered in. <laughs> I mean, they're just there for the flowers. What do you think? Don't flatter yourself. You think a bee's gonna choose your junk over a flower? You got another thing coming. Hard one, a penis penis. <laughs> all of the crick elves, all, all of the crick elves laugh like that's a that's a known <laughs> joke at the crick. <laughs> okay, you maniacs. Um, so as you understand it, Mima explained it to you. You you will wake up with some equipment. You will wake up with clothes there, uh, but it will be a lesser version of you. Um, mechanically, um, you all will be level eleven, and our players have leveled themselves down. It was hard to do. It was yes. do I still uh, do I still get portent rolls? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you get the thing that the made you a titan? Yeah, you're just trying. trolling me. Do just I? Started. Do I though? I uh, Beverly oh! uh, does not. No. Okay. Mm. All right. Less so than Moonshine. Fair enough. Um, wow. So you all undergo this ritual. You huff crick water and pass out as Mima and the old folks speak ancient words. And when you wake up, you find yourself in a desert, burning hot with the sun beating down on you. Behind you is an endless sea of sand. And in front of you is a huge flat top hill. Um, the side that you're facing is a crumbling cliff of sand and gravel with black stone at the top. Um, in front of the cliff face, you see a single cloaked figure, short in stature, digging into the cliff face. Uh, and can we, Trevor, can we see the uh, map now? Can we pull that up? Is it too dark. soon to suggest I scoop him? <laughs> <laughs> Never too soon for a scoop. I think Murph did in here. <laughs> I heard you. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to try to scoop him? No, I, I, I know that this is different, so I'm going to play with reverence. Okay. Um, are we all? Are is our map up? Map is up. Great. Maps up. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Before before you all had come here, uh, you knew that uh, you're looking for a crypt, like a keep, or not a keep, like catacombs mm -hmm. underground. Um, and you do see that there's this sort of, there's this hill, this very obvious like bump in um, this desert. And yeah, it, it looks like you're in the middle of this desert. The only thing is this like one clump. It's like trying to oh. find somebody under a blanket. It's like, there's the clump. Right, yeah. but this is no. like someone's house. This is a halfling home, clearly. Is it um, a halfling home? It's so home? much, it's so much bigger insight? than, no, it's hundreds, hundreds of feet long. Oh, so a halfling okay. mansion. I got you. It's, uh, it, okay. Um, Y'all, should we just go up to this uh, little folk and introduce ourselves kindly? Perhaps they also want to get into this tomb. Yeah, it seems wise. Yeah. Let us, uh, let us um, scoop Let's them with our manners. conversationally scoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's slide in there. 
All Sweet. Right. Um, are you stealthing or are you just going to go speak to them? Uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, what do y'all think? Y'all want to stealth or y'all want to just. I don't want to stealth like, yet. Let's, sweet as <laughs> let's possible. try to be polite while we can. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll We're just going to be so polite. Wait, does, yeah. what does everyone have on their person? Maybe we can be traveling sales folk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, so just to be clear, so um, uh, to kind of up the stakes of all of this, uh, you do not have Bev's amulet. Ooh. Um, and oh. for the for the people at home, uh, these guys have all the stuff that they had at level eleven, and they're level eleven. So Hard One does not have the God's hammer. He has like a plus uh, two hammer, I think. I think that's okay. correct. Yeah. Um, okay. I have some finery yeah. and a signet ring. There you okay. go. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe we just go up to this little cloaked fell fella fell fell X. Okay. <laughs> you know, um whatever they are. You go up to this little halfling um, uh -huh. and you see that they're digging into it, it into the side of the mountain, um, with like a ten foot pole going through it and huffing and puffing. I uh, see it's wearing a black cloak um with sand uh all over it. Um, and as you get close, uh, you see turns and looks at you. Ah, ah finally you're here. Uh, you <gasps> Balnor rips the top of his hood off. I should have uh, scooped him. I scoop him. We scoop him. <laughs> ah, ah, don't touch me. I have so much sunburn. As you, up, as you pick up Balnor, you see his face is blistered with so oh. much sunburn, and he goes, Oh dear. Uh, yeah, uh, Alanis had said that you guys were coming to this demi plane, and I figured I would come and, and meet up with you guys to try to help you. Uh, but we kind of got the times mixed up because, you know, Fay Wild, it's different in my timeline. How and long have you been out here? I've been here for like three days. Oh, three okay. days? Yeah. Balnor, have you eaten? Have you drank? Have you yeah. slept? Yeah, I brought like a little ca uh, camping pack. You see, <laughs> he points to like a tent. You've been hunting out already, in the desert? That has already collapsed. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Down um, there, that's so many cans of beans. Did you eat all those cans of beans? But uh, uh, Did I say I've been here for three days? I mean, I've been here for a uh, month. Oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, that was you, you can tell a he's lie. lying and he's just eating a lot of beans. <laughs> he just had a lot of beans. Man. He just he just ate his entire supply of food in the. Um, That's so much Heinz, buddy. Here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so here's the bad news, everybody. Uh, uh, Alana's kind of filled me in on some of this stuff, and uh, 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 she kind of spies on you from time to time. We watch together. Mm -hmm. uh, spies on us to, doing. It's okay, I'm okay being what? watched. Okay. We don't. We make sure not to watch Hard One when he when he's in his quarters anymore. Yeah. Good. <laughs> well, I did just walk across uh, the the entire creek naked. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not much you're missing. Right. Um, really, the most private thing about you are, are whatever you draw at night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't draw at night. Right. He doesn't course. draw at night. Baldur gets yeah, super that's, defensive. I mean, I'm just saying, it's, you scribble loud is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, actually, makes let me. A mental uh... note to do it quieter. <laughs> Caldwell sent me a Balnor token. Let me throw him on the board. Yeah. Ooh. Cute. Oh there he is. God. Look at our guy. Look you at see him? Guy. Ooh, I got to I gotta give him a name. Hang on. <laughs> Controlled by Brian M. Balnor. Show name, please. Yep. Yeah, take it. You can ask now. Can I uh, maybe just do a perception or insight to see? Uh, there have been no traps laid on this red pathway, right? Um, go ahead and do a perception check on the red pathway. Um, I got a 13 on my perception. 14 Thir on mine. <laughs> 14, okay. Let me see. Um, Bev, as you are walking along this red, um, mm -hmm. this red path, you see that it is um, a message. Oh, oh. The, red, the red tiles spell out a message? Yes. <gasps> um, and Wacky. I will share that with you now. This is direct from the module, except this for so cool. um, changing one name. Uh, so if it doesn't make any sense, that's not on me. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> as you as you walk through and read, mm -hmm. um, you see in like magical script, it's like really hard to see. But Bev, as you hold your sword up and lean low, you see it lights up green, and you read. Akarot congratulates you on your powers of observation. So make of this whatever you wish, for you will be mine in the end, no matter what. Go back 
to the Tormentor or through the Arch and the second great hall you'll discover. Shun green if you can, but night's good color is for those of great valor. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice, aught but a loop of magical metal. You're well along your march. Two pits along the way oh, will be going. found to lead to a, to, to a fortuitous fall, so check the wall. These keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands and what will maul. If you so did find, everybody get all that? Oh, it's still, oh, it's still If you going. find oh, goodness. the false, you find the true, and into the column tall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and keyed. The iron men of visage grim do more than meets the viewer's eye. You've uh -huh. left and left and found my tomb. Oh. And now your oh. souls oh, to shit. I Are you done yet? Yeah. <laughs> you hear an intercom. Read my poem. Okay, I actually, I hate to do this, and I hate myself for saying this. No, and Agnes, anyone who fails on me for this, I, I can need, share it with you. Oh yeah, I think I need to yeah. hear it out loud once totally. again. Totally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to you all so you can refer to it. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's what I need. Um, but I think you should read it one more time for anyone listening. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, one sec. Let me. God, I'm, this is I'm, like I'm Metal City Mayhem to, times ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> learning how to use Roll Twenty live. <laughs> So forgive me. Yes, forgive us. We've never used Roll20 uh, for at least this. Okay, yes. let's see here. Running, okay. I think it's a great thing as a performer to just always ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just always. Uh, let's see. Ah. How's it going, San Francisco? Forgive me. <laughs> great. Um, I, can, I can show this to you all. <laughs> forgive me, Detroit. I'm just going to reddit.com <laughs> slash Jim of Horrors. Oh, shit, I solved it. <laughs> Uh, I just shared it with you all. Did you see it? Yes. Uh, oh, on message. roll twenty, you shared. Yes, it, it should say message from. It says Acerarak, but um, <laughs> it's from Akarat. Uh, he's Acerak today. <laughs> <laughs> My name is not Ass. <laughs> all right, Acerak. We're gonna rack I'm ass, coming friend. for your crack, Acerak. What if it's not Acerak? <laughs> Get out of my crack. house! Get out of my house! <laughs> Acerak, gotcha. Yeah. Get your ass in the box. <laughs> we came up your ass crack and we're going to rack. All right. So rack it back. Go, okay, so go Let back. Let me read to... it one more time. Okay. okay. Again. Um, everyone, everyone who's listening, again, I just really want to apologize for everything that led everyone All to right. this moment where we have to listen to this okay, again. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here. All right, fine. I'll read it one more time, but that's it. Okay? Just try to read it quickly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Quicker? This is not... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want it quick or do you want it right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right. uh, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take okay. it right, actually. <clears throat> you hear uh, uh, Akarat take a, a drink from a glass of water and tap the <laughs> mic. Right. Uh, Akarat, you realize we got like 11 more hours, so if you're yeah, already so hoarse in the I'm throat, that's time. kind of a bad Well, <laughs> I wasn't planning on really talking to you all that much. <laughs> mm, now that I know right. that you have a intercom throughout the tomb, shut up! Like shut like up. Get your ass in the box. Get your yeah, ass in the box. <laughs> All right. All right. Akarat congratulates you on your powers of observation. So make of this whatever you wish, for you will be mine in the end, no matter what. Go back to the tormentor or through the arch, and the second great hall you'll discover. Shun green if you can, but night's good color is for those of great valor. Night's good color. It's good if color. shades of red stand for blood, mm -hmm. the wise will not need sacrifice, aught but a loop of magical metal. Real You're quick, well Ak Akarat, Akarat yes. real quick. Uh, what does aught <laughs> mean? A-U-G-H-T. I've heard it in reference to the 2000s, but I don't understand what it means in the, the context of aughts. this, yeah. this uh, year word change. Backstreet Boy days. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Sacrifice the aughts. Yes, you will find puka shell necklaces everywhere. <laughs> I love them. I love Punk the rock aughts. bands with fiddles. I will Here sacrifice. <laughs> I will sacrifice one Game Boy Color made of clear purple plastic. Ooh. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Caldwell, but I I I believe it means um, like uh, you will not need to sacrifice anything but a loop of magical metal. I think that's right. I, yeah. 
I, I thought the word was not. No, but... okay. That that I interpreted to mean that, but I wanted to just yeah. cover my bases. Continue, ass a crack. Mm. <laughs> my name is not ass a crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're well along your march. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. A so good check fall. the wall. Check the wall. These keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands and what will maul. If you find the false, you find the true, and into the columned hall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and keyed. The iron men of visage grim do more than meets the viewer's eye. You've left and left and found my tomb, and now your soul's will die. Thank you so much. You're just yeah, well, uh, so proud I, of yourself. Moonshine claps. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> felt moved too. I'm so sorry. Game record that's game. Snap. I gotta yeah. be honest. <laughs> I respect a fellow beat poet. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> All right. All right. No, I wasn't supposed to talk to you. I'm off. Bye. Um, <laughs> so... later, the crackling as he uh, protect, tries to turn off his mic. You hear him <laughs> talking to a, a minion loudly. Are you opening you know, something went, with a rapper? I think that went pretty well. Wait, are you hearing? <laughs> you hear me eating? Stop. Stop. Stop listening. Turn this off. You're not on mute, man. You uh, didn't now, mute yourself. He, is, he has since muted himself. Um, okay. Okay. Love so to hear other people's to... thoughts. Okay, great. Um, but you have enough vision and low light. So, Moonshine, you go through. Um, and you see up here, uh, where's Papa? Ooh. Papa's in the, Oops. yeah. I see a little angry man mouth. Yes, yeah, so there is a little angry man mouth. So you all see uh, over here, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you see uh, a stone archway filled with a veil of thick vapors. You can't see beyond it. Um, as you move to within touching distance, the left-hand base stone begins to glow yellow, the right-hand base stone orange, and the keystone seven, beat, seven feet above in the center turns blue. Um, okay, orange is my favorite color, it. so I just touch it. No. <laughs> Um, Moonshine. <laughs> Moonshine the real. <laughs> Moonshine. Uh, I see the color orange and I love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Moonshine, you touch orange. It's um, just dirty red. <laughs> and you see that as you touch orange, orange uh -huh. glows and the yellow and the blue one go dim. Interesting. The yellow and the blue. All right, y'all. We got a lot of clues and very few answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also see on this back wall, you saw the mean guy face. Um, that you, you guys can see when I click on things, Yeah, right? yeah, I see okay. it, I see it. The um, you expense. see there. That's my backup character right there. You see <laughs> on the, the wall. The mean guy. On the wall there, uh, you see a relief sculpture of a devil's face formed of mosaic tiles. Oh. The face has a huge O of a mouth inside which uh, the space is dead black. Um, and oh, color color. Nice. the mm -hmm. face the face of the uh the devil is like green shun green, shun green and nice good color yeah um should one of us stick our hand in the mouth <laughs> i punched my hand through the mouth great <laughs> um hard one your arm apple scrumper style uh sphere of annihilation is <gasps> what what <laughs> hard one's it's arm good. is gone Oh goodness! Wait, is it like healed or is it cauterized? It is. It like uh, we'll say lightsaber style. It just ceases to exist. It goes through mm. up to the shoulder. Boom, gone. Ah, oh. not good. <laughs> okay, did Are you all feel tricked by that? Um, I mean, not hard by one, the fact you can no just... longer. Hard one, you need to use a one-handed weapon now. <sighs> oh no! So if you have like a hand axe on you or something in your kit, I sure do. Okay, I sure do. Was he a? Not great enough valor? What does that mean? Shun green if you can, but knight's good color. Oh, boy. Uh, um, <laughs> nobody do anything even as a joke. <laughs> it's, uh, 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 lesser it restoration's so not gonna wrong. restore that. This I got feels... 11 hours left that I don't have a fucking, I don't have an arm. <laughs> this Hold on, hard so one. <laughs> unfair because I touched the orange thing and all it did was glow and you put your hand in a thing and it 
Can I, uh, I can I to be yeah. fair, I told you guys before the stream that there were things to give you hints, but it wasn't like a fail safe. When I said it. punch, I said punch my I punched my <laughs> pinky into the mouth. <laughs> yeah, you could Did have everyone done that. in the Twitch chat hear me say I If I roll an at twenty, can can we say that the that is just the pinky? No, no. Oh, okay. It's gone. <laughs> um can I uh take some rope and tie a javelin to hard one stump so he has a javelin arm now? That's cool. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> so he, he can at least attack with that, I guess. Uh, I don't need wow. my arm. I need my mind. <laughs> That's the true. Brilliant. That is That's, a really good call. Yeah. Wow, you a good attitude. You've grown. Honestly, hard one. Now that you don't have like, now that you're not just gonna be like swinging your axe around, it's kind of like you might discover some new skills in yourself, some uh -huh. new intellect yeah. Yeah. that you weren't well, giving credit to. This thing was the thing that told me to punch the mouth. So I don't know how, <laughs> right. how much I can okay. trust the noggin. <laughs> okay, but, I agree with you. I'm here. Although for actually, you. actually, um, you right now are you switched from orange to yellow. Yellow and blue went dim. Yeah. Okay, so yellow and blue together would be green, but those went mm -hmm. dim. But when you touch- And that's a no-no. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shun Although, green if you can. I, I don't know that we should entirely invest our lives in the um, <clears throat> in the puzzle of this poetry, because I believe it will <laughs> continue to fuck us. <laughs> Are you saying we shouldn't trust a riddle? <laughs> I'm saying, Beverly, I'm, I'm so sorry to say this to you, not everything that rhymes is true. <laughs> Beverly slams his fist under the wall so hard. I know that absolutely shakes you to your understanding of reality, but just because it rhymes don't mean it's right, don't mean it's good. If it rhymes, it rings true. Just because, just because it rhymes don't mean it's right, don't mean it's kind. Oh, okay, yes, that rhymes, but... I trust it, I trust it. Well put, well said, well spoken. Calm down, bud. <laughs> I, I see now that this is what the tomb meant to do to us. <laughs> Things falls up the stone. Balnor, Balnor attacks Papa. They begin choking each other. <laughs> All right. Um, I grab one of my sucking stones from Shine. Uh, I saw you just. Hey, I know. Sneak out. I'm so, um, I thought okay, I, I thought okay I spoiled something, yeah. but I'm cool to just. No, walk that, in. I mean you guys see there's a there's a there's a fucking gargoyle. As soon as you go in the oh. room, uh, you see a four armed gargoyle um, who looks like a statue. Um, but then like sniffles for a second and goes, oh, fuck. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing here? You can be on our side. Your master sucks. <laughs> what? My, my Did you want to be a gargoyle? Did I want to be a gargoyle? Of course. What's you wrong know with being answers. a gargoyle? Were you born a gargoyle? Did someone gargoyle. make you gargoyle? Of course I was born a gargoyle. Really? Did you have a, did you have a family that you were born to? Yeah, I have a lovely gargoyle family. We're yeah, very we don't want to hurt you. Focused. Go home to them. Go home, Go home to them. <laughs> That's what a gargoyle. When was the last you time you saw your gargoyle family, huh? The last time I saw them, I mostly just stand here and look in this corner. Well, wouldn't you like to be hanging out with them right now? I know that it's a famous gargoyle holiday today. <laughs> I know that it's mid Midsummer's Dawn. <laughs> Midsummer's. It's Midsummer's done already. Oh, I haven't even gone <laughs> gift shopping. All you're doing is stressing me out. You're, okay, if you don't it's give okay. Your mom a game. She's gonna lose her mind. <laughs> we have roll initiative. <laughs> Ooh, eleven. Okay, sixteen. Six. Okay, one sec. Midsummer's okay. done. I know. I got me. I got my mom socks. <laughs> You gotta get your mom's socks. It's a classic <laughs> Midsummer's oh, Dawn what? gift. You can't get your mom's socks. Gargoyles <laughs> don't wear socks. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Where is this dude's stats? I don't know how to use roll 20. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's okay. Guys, keep keep talking to the gargoyle. Wait, I just All looked right. at I just looked at the chat and there is a very important question. Oh. Is the gargoyle wearing a vest? <laughs> The gargoyle is wearing a tiny vest. Oh, okay, you don't wear socks, but you do wear vests. All right, because one is functional and the other is just decorative. So Are I see where you're coming did from you with insult the way that you vests? ornament yourself. <laughs> we would never. Unless you got a timepiece in the pocket, in which case the vest can be sort of like a purse. Mm. I can't. Just tell me how to look at my little guy. For every piece of the riddle you help us solve, we will give you a different vest. <laughs> okay, okay. Vest rich. All right, I've got I've got his stats. Finally. We invested in vests. <laughs> okay, you've invested in vests. 
Uh, let me see his attributes. Oh boy, you know, this could be, this could be organized better. Oh boy. You know? It's not great. bad for me because I have to Would go it be back better to just the like... old circle No, it's, scores, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't remember how to do it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm ready to fight. Everyone hold on. Let me fix my vest. Your vest looks way too tight. It's restricting <laughs> not... your movement. I, I haven't, I've gained some weight while I was hanging out here by <laughs> myself. It up There's so way. many cans of beans in the corner. Wait, are you not supposed to button it up all the way? Oh, it's very casual, man. Um, <laughs> it's a turtleneck vest. That's what, so weird. What did everybody get again? Yeah, there's, it comes together and then there's a little turtleneck. Is that a vest with a corset? <laughs> it's, what did you guys get again? 11. Uh, uh, 16. Six. Wow. Emily, you did 10 better than me. Again. Oh, cool. Congratulations. I'm actually just trying to remember. Okay. So the gargoyle is going to go first. The gargoyle mm -hmm. saw Moonshine first. Uh, so it's going to come forward uh, with its oh, claws. Oh, now you want to talk about getting socks for your mom, huh? Do I, do I want to talk about getting socks for my mom? No, I'll steal socks from you. <laughs> Moonshine, you're wearing socks? Uh, that's only, <laughs> Yeah, that's thick only... <laughs> ones that go up mid-calf. You never noticed? <laughs> that's only an 11 to hit. <laughs> misses. And misses. Uh, another claw attack is a 19 to hit. Um, Ooh. hold on, let me look at my... It should hit at this point in the game, I would 19 think. 19 is my armor class. Okay. Um, you right, take you probably... eight damage, and then okay. he's gonna take a bite. Uh, that's a 19 to hit again, and that one is seven damage. Okay. Um, that is... Are you is... alive? That is, uh, no, Moonshine's turn. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me just do the. Let me just subtract the damage you did, and then try to figure out what I'm gonna do here. Um. Uh, you see, oh, the, yeah. the the gargoyle is also wearing a necklace with. Oh, jealous. Uh, is wearing a necklace with a. Uh, let me see. He's it's wearing a... a necklace. Is it? Oh, <laughs> is it a choker over his turtleneck? It is a choker over the turtleneck. Does it um, look like it would fit on me like a it's belly got, chain? It's got 10 gleaming gems, uh, and they're blue. So many gems. Okay. How did we not hear you before? Ding. <laughs> just, just jingling as he, as he swings. Okay. Relax, wow. or you're going to break my choker. <laughs> so I? unwieldy. Can I uh, <laughs> necklace off him? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. I'll I'll do a uh, sleight of hand versus dex to try to stop you. Sleight of hand. Just give your mom one gym. That's going to be a 19. Um, Moonshine, you swipe it off his neck. Run. And then it's got hey! 10 gems on it? Yeah. Can I throw one of the gems at him? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you pull a gem off, uh, you <laughs> throw it at him, it... Um... <laughs> Uh, it's like uh, I guess make an attack roll. Uh, <laughs> Twenty five. Uh, it hits. It does. <laughs> you, you do one damage to him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, you see the gem shatters and it's just I gone. Was explosives. <laughs> Did anything happen when Try the gem another. shattered? And, Try and the, the others. The gargoyle got pissed. Hey! That's my dad. My, my mom got that for me. <laughs> oh, so we do exchange you. gifts. We do. Y <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait. Um, trying to see if there's anything else I can do. Seems suspicious that there would just be a room. I guess this could have been the gargoyle's closet. Do I see, like, um, <laughs> coats in here, perhaps? Weirdly enough, you see um, it looks like a little, like, it, it looks like a foyer. <laughs> <laughs> It looks Ooh. not like a, a closet. A foyer, like an entrance room? Yeah. Huh. More like a, so, a salar or a foyer? It's like a foyer. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So there, so there I guess, it, I guess it's like it. a salar. Mm. I don't know what a salar is. Is that a foyer? <laughs> I don't either. It's just they say it in Game of Thrones a lot. Um, interesting. Uh, so it looks like a foyer. I don't know if you're just fucking with me or if that's actually in the rules, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay. If it's a foyer, uh, do I see like a little um, eye hole in the wall where you could like uh, check to make sure it's your delivery person and not like uh, a Jehovah's Witness? 
Which wall? Which wall are you gonna check? I guess I'll check uh, maybe the wall uh, above me now, to the uh, the left of where you entered. Uh, just move your move your guy. What I miss? Oh, wait, that's this wall. That's where you enter. Um, yes, this. We're wall. in a foyer. Oh, know. that wall. Mm -hmm. uh, foyer. Bev, Bev, go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. That's a four. Um, Bev, you feel it? Feels like a solid wall. I love these solid walls, man. They're cool. so thick and nice. Okay. I kind of the drum on the wall. What's, the, what's up with the ceiling here? Oh, good call. Um, go ahead and give me perception checks on the ceiling. I, 11. Um, don't notice anything on the ceiling. We're going to crack this hard one. Cool. Just the ceiling. Okay. What are y'all trying to crack? <laughs> We're, Could uh, it just, just be a pointless can... room? Have we entertained that idea? No, Murph said it was a foyer. And that's not important. <laughs> Okay, so Murph offhandedly said something, and we're following it as if it is uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, the word uh -huh. of God. That sounds cool. He tipped cool. his yeah. hand. He tipped his hand. It's a foil. Well, I'll he give you. Fucking I'll give you the beans. Well, I'll give you the. I'll give you the context. Uh, Caldwell asked if there was, if there was any evidence that it was the gargoyle's closet, and I said no. If anything, it looks like a foyer. Which means it's an entrance way. Okay, I got stone shape. If you really, Bev, if you really believe this, <laughs> point at the wall that you want me to try and stone shape through, and I will do it. I guess I didn't get anything on either wall. So, um, all right. So there's like, I'm, I'm a little. All right. Oh, this is the door I entered from. Sorry. Yep. Okay. So there's this wall and this wall. Um, yeah. Go for the wall, uh, Moonshine. I'll point, I'll point at it. Yeah. This Can wall. I do an inside check if this is a bad idea because it is a fourth level spell? Go ahead and, oh. go ahead and do an inside check. Shout out to the two crew. <laughs> it's a great idea. <laughs> okay. So this wall, the one I'm pointing to with my little arrow. Okay. Doesn't, pew, 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 pew. Map-wise, that wall seems like it goes back into the hall we were in, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys you can, with, ah. with even just any any kind of insight check, passive insight, you would know that that is that, is that direction. That's the direction of the hall we were just in? Anyone yeah. else kind of curious to go into cool. that other room I went in that has a door in it? <laughs> yeah, I've had my one fun that in has here. no doors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes a, a, a door is more inviting than a wall. I, I love this. <laughs> this module is just hell. It's just like, just put people in rooms. I'm... We're going to figure this out. <laughs> okay. A, a, Does the a module door that leads to a yet? cornered room. All right. Yeah, let's go in this other room. Yeah, okay, I'm right. going to go into this room, Great. and I'm then I'm just going to open the door to the next room. Great. You Do open up. the door to the next room. This is another cornered room. <laughs> Really? Uh, there's another God. door back there. There's a door though. There's okay, is door. there a door? Tell uh -huh. me, tell me. I think I know where this is going. I open the door. Wait, whoa, hard one, hard one. Yo, you guys oh. are cheating. You guys are going through the walls. What? Get out of here. Oh, I didn't know that was, I was going through the walls. You gotta go through doors. I right. didn't know. Wait, this is the door. I thought this was a door. No, oh, this is a door. I see. The doors are gray. Okay, down I go through the door. Wait a minute. Yep. Wait, down. Then there's another door. Can this I go? This is going up somewhere. Door? Yeah, we're getting going. closer. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah, another door. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. High five, man. This Welcome is amazing. Back. Wow. Belnor, is, is, is this is this hey. a mirror, Belnor? <laughs> I have I am here to destroy you all. Oh no. no. Uh, you guys walked in a big circle. God damn it. <laughs> While you do that, I'm gonna go get food oh, that thank just you. arrived. One second. Ooh. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Two pits, shades of... I don't see anything about uh, treasure chests. Unless these are the Iron Men. Yeah, you know. that's why I'm wondering if it's iron or if there's any colors that could like this, correspond oh, yeah. with some of the hints that have been dropped to us from Assacrack. Well, we got some... But it's not Assacrack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no? It's not Assacrack. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Sounds like Assacrack to me. What do you think, Balnor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think his name's Asser Crack. <laughs> it's almost like, like, I just feel like your mind like is somewhere else today, Valnor. <laughs> I got a lot of my mind. I was, I'm running a very just complicated... Just like not fully present. <laughs> yeah, I've got this um, uh, campaign that I, that I run at home, and I'm just 
I'm juggling a lot of balls right now. For Bobby and his friends. For Bobby and his friends. <laughs> That's so uh, great. It's of pretty you. complicated. There's it's a lot really of maps. Great. There's a lot of maps Some and maps. stuff. And just yeah. nor- not normally kind of the kind of thing that I would run. If yeah, makes- absolutely. Yeah, so you're kind of out of your like story driven thing. So yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, I'm going to go back to eating Shake Shack. If anybody needs <laughs> combat, you let me know. <laughs> you got a big order, is all. <laughs> just yeah that it, it's like when you have shake shack in the car or something when you guys were in that jail cell it just like reeked <laughs> uh, i gotta turn on our air conditioner i don't know why it turned off it's not a bad idea um Pablo, turning on our air conditioner won't turn on yours <laughs> i can't feel it yet. how you're are you interacting with it at all or are you just um investigating hmm. i'm gonna touch it you touch it um I'm okay touch it. you touch it a um, stroke. Uh, it just it. it feels like a like a glass ball. Um, nice. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh. Perception. Okay. What a lovely bobble. That's gonna be a twenty-five. Um, there does not seem to be anything inherently magical or secret hmm. about this. Despite that, I Y'all, find myself covetous is... of this bobble. <laughs> <laughs> the bobble is speaking to Beverly. I simply so... must have it. <laughs> Take the glass ball, Beverly. (laughs) You and I will open an antique shop in Maine. (gasps) This bobble shall be the seed of my antique empire. Wow. I mean, not to get in on your future dream, but antique shop and a bed and breakfast in one. I mean, you decorate with the antiques. Yeah, side by side. Maybe a little statue garden. (laughs) Okay. Uh, I guess, it would, would someone else like to take over? I don't want to be the only one who has to touch all these orbs, however, I'm happy to do it, but if someone was feeling antsy um, and wanted to touch an orb, I want to get out of the way. I have one more question. Uh, what painting do we see on the wall next to this orb? Um, you, uh, it is a, um, a cat man. Uh, is making it up, opened, it means nothing. <laughs> that has opened an antique store in Maine. <laughs> Uh, you can see that there are Antique crabs, store. so it is it is crab season. <laughs> <laughs> when is it not? <laughs> Great Does the cat man have a little crab a in his mouth? I love a winter crab, you know? Uh, he's, he has a little hammer. It looks like he might be getting ready to eat some crabs. Ooh, have a little crab snack? <laughs> are there lemons on display? Um, there's two lemons. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I can't wait to hear about the next painting. <laughs> Beverly is drawn into this painting. <laughs> Beverly is imagining true. an entire life. You know what? This is a 12 hour stream. Murph, uh, we're going to ask about every single <laughs> painting on the wall. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> cool. Uh, tell me what you guys do next. Uh, what about this blue orb, maybe? Yes, I don't. I want to see what. I'm going to inspect the painting behind the red one. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> um, you see that no, this fine. one. This one is yeah. uh, uh-huh. definitely in Boston oh. uh, okay. on, the, on the river. Once cool. again, the it's, it's crab season. Oh man! <laughs> what about the what about the painting behind the blue one? Painting behind the blue one? Yeah. Um, that one is in Portland. Wait uh, a minute. It is rainy, and they are uh-huh. in a red lobster. Uh, it, oh, it sounds okay. like it could be crab season. Murph, Murph, I want to yeah. go back to the red one. Uh, okay. Is is Matt Damon in there anywhere? <laughs> go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> How do you like them crabs? <laughs> That's Them a 12? Apples. That's a 12? Yeah, I look I'm really so hard in the distance. You look in the distance, um, you think <laughs> you think it might be Matt Damon, uh, but I don't want to confirm for you that it's actually Ben Affleck. Um, yeah. can, I, can I look to try and see Matt Damon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a, a 26% so roll for Damon. <laughs> you see that, um, you see that Ben Affleck is holding a copy of um, The Departed? Uh-huh. Uh, and you do see Matt Damon is featured saw, on the cover. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> so that means we see a Leo and a Jack yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, That's okay. Well, cool. it's a weird special. Right. It's uh, clearly this person took Leo. some artistic license, <laughs> and yeah. it is it is just fully a Matt Damon cover of uh, it's, like oh, a special okay. It's really edition. crazy, Murph, because you're. I know that you're reading this all directly from the module, yeah. and it's just coming out so naturally. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's really they good. really must have been watching Inspiring The Departed a lot. So wait, yeah. all right. Solo Damon. That means <laughs> okay. there's going to be one demon in the next room. It's a little oh. suspect mm. that um, Leo is not on here. Mm-hmm. That's so there's I'll no say. lion. Lion represents courage. Uh, those without courage should not proceed. All right. Okay. I'll touch the orb. Okay, I dropped the actual, the magical ring. In Great. 
drop it. It just planks on the ground. <laughs> great, me. great. Uh, I visualize myself reaching into the painting and grabbing the DVD of The Departed. Uh, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Cool. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> um, uh, you... <laughs> I need to look up something. Really Wait, what? No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Wait. One sec. Really? One sec. Wait, one sec. No. A... Okay, wait. Um, no, no man. Come on. No. What a way to go. If this is how you, if this is how Bev dies, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um. <laughs> also gonna lose an arm. One sec. This is really serious. <laughs> I think that you're looking up something about the departed. That's what I, that's what my theory is. Um, how do you how do you pronounce it? Is it Geely? <laughs> yeah, it is the Ben um, Affleck movie. Uh, Fuck you, Bev. As you reach into the orb, Fuck you, you pull man. out a DVD copy Fuck of Geely. Fuck you, Geely. dude. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, so Caldwell actually, yeah. The, people call it a bio break, Jake. Did you know that? Oh, that's it's called cool. a bio break. All or right. you and I could just check check in. Hey, Jake, it's just yeah. you and me. How are you we doing? We don't check in enough. We don't check in enough. How's I Jill? She's uh, right. I, I hope you know. I'm going to field not... questions about Jill from the chat. If that's cool, sure. does yeah, that feel uh, yeah it deeply feels... invasive? No, it feels appropriately invasive. Okay, brought... everyone, please uh, ask your questions about Jill and Jake's relationship in the yeah. chat. And if anyone has a line to her that we could better these questions, that would be awesome. Yeah, bear in mind that Jake will have no, knows nothing of her I, perspective. Yeah, I okay, uh, first one, is she, is she real? She, she is real. She uh -huh. was real. It was, this was real. Uh, this first row here, um, both of those have, uh, okay, the back pair here have 4,000 silver pieces each in nice. them. Yo. There's like a hoard of silver in both. Uh, just it's to be clear, silver. since since we did sort of astral project here, are we gonna be able to bring money back yeah, with yeah, us? Yeah, you can bring money back. You can give it to the Crick. Oh, nice. Um, uh, then you've got... It'll appear in your tuxedo, so everyone but hard one can. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what, is, what is EP? EP? Ex not experience. Egg no. points? Egg points. No, egg points. No egg, egg points. How many egg points? egg points? Okay, egg so there points. are two thousand, three thousand egg points in each <laughs> one of these two. <laughs> oh, the chat. The chat's going oh, off. The chat's explaining it. They, 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 they are saying egg points. Egg what are they saying? Yeah, egg, egg, egg points. points. It's yes. egg, egg points. points. Okay. Uh, egg so, points. Electrum. So electrum. Electrum. Half electrum. Oh, so you guys get. Oh wow. You guys. You guys get three thousand electrum. Someone did say chow mein, so it could just be chow mein. Okay. <laughs> 6,000 electro pieces in these two, <laughs> and then um, 2,000 gold in each of these. So 4,000 gold. Oh, so uh, it's just money. We just got yeah, a bunch money. of money. Okay. Yeah. Oh, everyone's back. We're good. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, oh, this is really funny. Uh, Rosa Pino said, can you give an example of a bad thumbs up? Because we always do it while we're mm. recording, but we never actually uh. do it. So we always just like kind of do like a bad one. <laughs> I think you could also do one that's like this. This is this is as bad as it gets, I think. Mm -hmm. It's good if like the <laughs> this. Hey, like, thumbs up. Technically, it's up. <laughs> I'm hey, I'm up. very oh, I'm very excited. One. I think we're. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's open this door then. Mm, cool. Oh, great. It's another room. Moonshine, you fall <laughs> down God. a pit. No. no. <laughs> uh, wait, Be uh, wait. did Bev, wa Bev walked in at the same time? Bev and Moonshine fall. Yep, we sure did. Okay. What uh, happens? You guys are both going to take. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm going to, now I'm going to wild shape. Into both of you. Uh, no, it's too oh. quick. Or unless you do feather okay. fall. Give it I to can't. me. Yeah, I don't, I don't have feather fall. Okay. Uh, so you're both going to do. Uh, go ahead and give me constitution checks as you fall on the poison spikes. Oh, no. oh! Oh, I got a nat one. Okay. Me too, but I'm going to reroll mine. Die. Luckily, I rerolled it, and I got a seven. Great. Plus, uh, two, so nine. 
Uh, you guys take seven bludgeoning or seven piercing damage from falling on the spikes, and then okay. twenty-five poison damage. Hmm. The thirty-two damage saying. total. Thirty-two total. Thirty-two damage. Boy. Yep. Uh, you guys oh. are only you guys are only ten feet down. Actually, uh, you're gonna take ten feet of falling damage. Let me roll one d six. I take another one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself with a fourth level cure wounds. You want me to touch hands, you? Mm, I might I've... as well just I, I might as well just heal myself. I still have another. I, I can do it. Thank you though. Okay. We can save that for when things get dire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so things are fine see. right now. There is that pit. It takes up about half the room. Um, it's only 10 feet, so you can long jump your your strength. So Balnor jumps to the other side. Uh, you see that there is another door at the end of this hall. We found the pit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you guys want to get out? Um, yeah. It wasn't a fortuitous fall, just so everyone knows. I think it is not the fortuitous fall mm-hmm. foretold in the poetry that greeted us upon arrival at the tomb. We did both roll one, so it was we extremely did. not fortuitous. <laughs> extremely. Maybe if we had crit, it would have been fortuitous. Mm-hmm. Well, crit in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Can um, I okay. um, suck on a spike to try and build a poison immunity? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> licking stuff, Beverly. Uh, <laughs> no, if you if you do it enough, you get immune. Bev, quit licking the poison. I I'm trying Bev to get, get out of there. You should Moonshine. all get down here. Moonshine, get him out of there. Everyone get down here and lick uh, the spike. I have a frog in my mouth. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just I'm working me. on my immunity. <laughs> it's like a popsicle. Young Bev told me all about it. <laughs> um, okay, so how many feet down are we? 10 feet. You can climb out easy. Mm. Okay, cool. We climb out. Great. Oh. And then... Proceed. Sweet. Oh! People pointed Wait. out I have protection Beverly. from poison on me. Beverly, Whoa. you fall down the pit. Um, yeah. Yep. Okay, so, so there's another door at the end of the hall. I climb out of the pit and instantly run through the door. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bev, you fall down another pit. <laughs> so it's like if this is the thing and it's it's dipping oh, them so into you the like, pit. So I want it to be it. perpendicular so that then we could all just stand. And so then it would over. have to get under it, right? Yeah. I think I was so just thinking something it's like to this. Ca- so, so if you do it like fall. this, it's just going to make it. <laughs> oh, so you mean, okay. So you it's, it's wall a fills to... in here. Yeah. Yeah. And then makes like a triangle like this. Yeah. Catches and presumably it'd be tall enough that it would come nicer than we came. You, know? you guys can move yeah. to the bottom of the stairs. All right. Okay. All right. You move to the bottom of the stairs. You see lying on the floor at the bottom here. I'll use Balnor. Oops. I it's a motion. love seat. There is a chair. <laughs> oh, it is a chair. I thought it was a mirror. <laughs> no, there's a chair. Uh, so I you see my rump in it? Lying on the floor. <laughs> there's something in there. There's something in there. Listen. God rump? damn it. Nobody can fart their rump. If you bark your rump, you're going to get a surprise round I'll against you. Rump. Anybody <laughs> bark their rump. What if I what if I scoot my little tush over? If you scoot your tush, you're gonna get attacked. Bark your rump, scoot your tush. Just, Anybody who scoots just, the. T- what if I just plant what God gave me? Can I rest my cheeks? <laughs> Permission okay. to rest my cheeks. Okay, okay, everybody, you guys be lying <laughs> on the floor at the bottom of the stairs. Sorry, can I dump my humps? <laughs> <laughs> um, Moonshine, you take four psychic damage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you guys see. Lying on the floor at the bottom of the stairs, there's an iron mace that is inlaid with silver. Mace! Oh, no, mace is iron. different than mall. Never mind. Iron! Wait, uh, <laughs> something's good. An iron visage. Um, iron man of visage grim. S- you see south um, of the stairs is a modest-sized room. Uh, you can see that it is filled with rotting and decaying furnishings. Ooh. You see there is a jade coffer and a skeleton lounging on the couch. You see the skeletal figure is wearing a crown on its head, slowly oh. rising from the couch. Who dare dis- disturbs the tomb of, of Aceroth, I mean Acheroth. It is your death which you have found. Um, everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Oh. What? We're already here? 17. I know that we're not already here. I'm yeah. sure there's some trickery going 21. on. 21. If you find false, you find true, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, what did you get, hard one? 
21. What did you get, I'm Beth? I'm sorry. Uh, four. What'd you get, Moonshine? Moonshine? Seven, 17. 17. <laughs> <laughs> Wish uh, I had a little more HP going into this fight. I okay. wish I had. Yeah, so Bal Balnor's, spells, Balnor's but... hurting a little bit. Uh oh. I'm also um, hurting. And we do not have the amulet, correct? No. Correct. These keys and those are most important of all. We have trembling hands in it. There we go. Okay. Um, hard one. Oh, wait. Hard one, you are first. Okay. Um, so it's there's just this skeleton uh, coming yep. to fight us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, I'll hit him with my hammer. Great. No, you can't defeat me. How did you find me? How did you find my totally cool throne room? We just mm -hmm. fell down a bunch of holes, dude. No way. Uh, yeah. Okay, this dude is de is definitely telegraphing what? that this is fake. No, you've done it. Uh, <laughs> you've done it now. You Should made I me really mad. <laughs> At first, not... I thought, how nice, how refreshing that someone's throne would be a love seat. <laughs> If this guy isn't real, I'm going to give him a hug. <laughs> Smart. Are you going to give him a hug? Yeah. I'm okay. going to give him a hug. Okay. I love your throne, man. This thing's <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, that is... Uh, <laughs> do you guys see him now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See okay, great. Uh, hard one. Yeah. Just turn oh, you look bad. That is Beverly's turn. Hmm. Uh, no, wait, sorry. I... No, that is Moonshine's turn. Okay. So nothing right. happened when I hugged him? No. <laughs> he, he feels like a rotting skeleton man. All right. It's not your Get off it. me. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what um, could I possibly do in this situation? I am going to... Well, poison ain't going to do shit to this mm -hmm. because it's undead. Does he look like a monster? Can I do an insight check if he's a monster? He's undead. Mm. Ah, fuck. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'm going to go into fungal form just for the hit points because I'm pretty low. Great. Mm. So I'll go into fungal form that takes an action. And then just in case, spit some spores at him. Uh, does not do anything. Try hugging him. Ow. I also uh, hug him. <laughs> you hug him? Uh, he looks bad. Uh, that is <laughs> Balnor's sir. Off. Balnor is just going to swing at him. Uh, hits once. Uh, shout out to the two crew misses on the second one. Balnor does mm. nine damage. And just like jumps over you guys. Get out of the way. <laughs> the hell's the matter with you? That is Akarot's turn. Oh, oh. He's going to go after Moonshine. Right now, come on. Uh, first one is only a. I got more hit points. Now. Twelve to hit. This is second one. It's a is false a, ass. Don't believe him. It's a twenty-two <laughs> to hit. That false does ass. hit. Uh, All right, Moonshine, you take nine damage, and uh, nine bludgeoning damage, and another nine necrotic damage. So eighteen damage. Okay, eighteen damage. That is Bev's turn. Okay. Um, is the skeleton wearing anything? He's wearing like a robe, and my cool. arms around him. I'm I'm the king of this town. Uh, I'm gonna attack him. If you could make it here, he could make it anywhere. It's the Tomb <laughs> of Horrors. Did you Whoa. like my poem, Beverly? I did like your poem, but I know the poems are nothing but false games, macrame <laughs> woven together to trick the hearts of men. <laughs> um, you've, you've traumatized a moonshine. Not, not all poetry. He had to learn sometime, you know. I, I was going easy on him. I'm going to uh, attack him once and then use my second attack to try and rip his robe off. Great. Um, he's your first attack. <laughs> That's a 27 Me. on my first attack. <laughs> one sec, one sec. Me and hard one. Hug. <laughs> Okay, that's um, <laughs> that's ten damage. Great, great. I'm gonna do a divine smite. Great. Oh, no. I'll do a just a first level smite. So that's just two more d8. Great. Oh, uh, or is there an extra d8? 
He is evil, yeah. Cool. That's going to be... Nice. 13 more damage. Sweet. Uh, and then, yeah, with my second attack, I will attempt to uh, take his robe off. <laughs> he doesn't even resist. You just <laughs> rip his <laughs> shitty robe off. It tears ah. off. Oh, why? Why did ah, you do that? I stripped the <laughs> truth oh. from you. Strip the truth from me. What the hell are you talking about? You are no, <laughs> what you are are no you? demon the king. The veil of Maya What's... has been. <laughs> what does my robe have eyes. to do with that? I'm sitting in a shitty in a room. You're a robe of lies. You're a robe of lies. The hard one. That's your turn. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm going to keep on hugging him. I feel like this is going to, something's going to happen. Great. You grab him or just no, hug I'm just kidding. Him? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack him three times <laughs> with my hammer. <laughs> Hang on. That's a crit, baby. Dope. That is a nasty, nasty. Very good. Um, so I, I crit, but then also that is a 17. Does that hit him? Uh, 17 does hit him, yeah. He's, he doesn't even have his robe on anymore. 17 and a 16. <laughs> yeah, how uh, how much 16. does his 16, AC go down? 16 also hits. <laughs> you see? Wow. The, the robe is so soft and rotted that as you touch it, it like joins your skin, Bev. It just like farts into you. <laughs> it melts away. It's like putting a stick of like uh, of like old gum in your mouth, where it just like turns to sugar. <laughs> You're just like, this was a poorly woven robe. Yeah. <laughs> it's Much one, like your one, one thread oh. count. All right, that's sixty-five damage. Wow. Um, hard one. Finish him. Um, I take the. <laughs> I take the macrame from Moonshine's pocket. I say, Whoa. hey, this ugly ass rope is good for something. And I, <laughs> and I choke the life out of him. You choke the life out of him? Um, or I guess he's already dead. I yeah, he's the, already dead. Uh, you choke the undeath out of him. Um, yeah. You yeah. wrap it around his neck. Um, you see he resists. No, no, you can't do this. My tomb, my tomb. You see red lights come out of his eyes um, red. and shoot beams around the room, the entire room begins shaking all around you guys. 10, nine. Oh, um, I grab couch. his body Seven, and run. I get, I put the magic ring in it. Oh no, we already five, did that. I run, I four. run, okay. I, I turn around. Moonshine runs, who else runs? Wait, I, uh, I grab. Can I see uh, what happens if I stop choking him? Run run around you oh, go, shakes go, go. and is destroyed. Away. You guys run out. You see the room collapses behind you, and you hear Akarat go, "No, my evil plan! You have defeated me once more. No." Right. This is all from a module, correct? <laughs> cool. So, uh, um, and the room uh, collapses behind you. Uh, you guys. Wow! Are out this hall. So we we won. We did wow. it. Good job, guys, team. Everyone. So I guess we get to, we get to crash early. So um, totally this has been won. awesome, everyone. Thank <laughs> you so much. You guys totally won. So is there like a teleport portal that we can step through to get to the entrance again? or? Yeah, it seems like we wrapped everything up, right? Yeah. Do we get like a uh, a piece of heart or like a, a cool celestial violin maybe? Seems, I seems guess maybe clean. we'll just start, we'll like just we start walking out destroyed. like the victors that we are. Presumably all of the evil enchantments have been dispelled. So yeah. I mean, I'm just going to carelessly walk down this okay. hallway. If their right, master has been subdued. Um, yeah, okay, feeling good. Can I inspect this mace I got? Yeah. Cool. Um, pull up the mace. Oh, can I have grabbed a cushion from the love seat? <laughs> mm. <laughs> of course. I'm kidding. I tape it to myself as armor. <laughs> uh, shout out to the two crew. For those uh, keeping track at home, I've rolled a lot of twos. Okay, okay. I um, I, I inspect the mace as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Everyone come sniff this mace. Yeah, I did only. I did investigation. If you prefer that, if I'll get more, um, if I'll get better information. Um, I got a you guys, uh, go 17. ahead and go ahead and give um, insight checks. Okay. Oui, twelve. Shout out to the three Cree. Uh, shout out to Fine Nine. Oh, wow, friends. Eight. Um, who got a twelve? I did. Okay, hard one. It occurs to you that you look at this weapon, it doesn't look that um, special. It was laid at the bottom of the stairs. Everything was tidy in a way that it was like, 
the bad guy was just sitting there atop a throne. There was like an item to help kill him at the bottom of the stairs. It feels a bit quaint. Ah, so this is probably a cursed mace. Seems seems likely. Can we try and use it to like just whack oh, all the walls? I'll, I'll now? take out a pistachio and you can try and open it, crack it open with the with the mace. Oh, that's oh, smart. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Is this a good uh, pistachio? We'll toss it, it's a toss very it naughty it pistachio. It it's a throw very it. naughty pistachio. I throw it up in the air. Ben, Good you won't have that yeah. naughty pistachio. I call my shot on the <laughs> pistachio. Go ahead Great. and make an attack roll. Um, Jesus, 14. I'm going to say pistachio is pretty small. You whiff and miss the pistachio. Uh, I'm going to action surge. <laughs> okay. Smart. 24. Uh, you hit the pistachio. All yes. Right. Biggest victory of the day. Okay. Um, uh, you guys look at this mace. Um, it doesn't oh seem like... God. You look at this mace, it doesn't seem like there's anything special about it. Okay. Can we the use this mace, though, as like our wall? pistachio. <laughs> I hit it. <laughs> that was cool. So you can together. make good berries and, and naughty pistachios. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. It was a bad pistachio. That's, I wouldn't that's the, the two genders. Good right. I wouldn't have done it. Naughty pistachios. I wouldn't have done it if it hadn't been a naughty pistachio. Right. <laughs> I know that we're the band of boobs, but is it too late to change our name to the naughty pistachios? <laughs> Campaign two, baby. <laughs> good lord. We could please stop um, saying pistachio because I can stop crying. I I do want to keep the maze and just use it as our like wall bashing maze. Great. So whenever we need to break down a wall, we can use this maze. Okay. I like that. I like yeah. that. Um. So what would you guys like to do now? <laughs> so Shit. That's, that's, I guess just retrace our steps, huh? Yeah. Oh, there is. There might. We should go back and see if the other pit had a door in it as well. Yes, that's a lovely idea. Because yeah, it's a two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. Mm. Oh, okay. I like it. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, lead the way. Let me know what you guys are doing, if anything, along the way, and let me know. Oh, um, again, I'm just kind of like smashing walls with this maze. Oh, okay. Go, going keep going. For a little longer. You guys see a door at the end of the hall. Ooh. Oops. I started to walk in. Um, can I peek my head in the door? Yep. You open the door, and um, you see. Uh, this looks to be some kind of laboratory or workshop. You see mm. shelves with chemicals and scrolls. And in the south part of the room, you see that there are three vats. Are we allowed to go in this well, room? Well, I think let's go in, yeah. yeah. Sweet. You guys go in the room. Vats. You guys see that the vats are full of murky Colored liquid. Colored liquid? Is that a green Whoa. one? <gasps> green? What is this? Uh, what's the color of this one on the right? Um, on the right, go ahead and give me in, uh, investigation or perception. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> That's going to be 26 for perception for me. Let's go with that. Uh, Moonshine, uh, that one, it looks like it's just dirty water. Really? Mm. Yep. Just dirty water. What sort of misdeeds you got to clean off, huh? Does it look I... like it was clean water once, or has it always <laughs> been dirty? <laughs> <laughs> it looks when like this dirty, water this water naughty. was desecrated. Desecrated. Okay. Moonshine, put a good was bit in. Was it once holy water? Um it, uh, uh it looks like this water was actually used in the departed. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Matt Damon bathed in this water? This is Matt Damon's bath water? <laughs> that is Damon I bath. In. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How could Moon, I not? Moonshine loves Matt <laughs> Damon. I guess. From set. <laughs> they saved his bath water every day after filming. <gasps> and wow. they poured it in a tub. <laughs> um, so that's that's what you see in the uh, left one. Um, hard one, you see a grayish substance, like a thick jelly. I think this is a gray ooze? bath water. Um, I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to do a perception check on it as well. On the same one? <laughs> yeah, I rolled poorly though. Okay. Fourteen. Uh, same 14 thing. Fourteen is you better than yours, though. You see, like a grayish, thick liquid. Do I see De Niro's bathwater anywhere? Um, you can <laughs> imagine that this, this uh, in the middle is probably De Niro's bathwater. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bev, go ahead and give me a perception check. <clears throat> Shout out to the two crew. Wowie. 
Jesus. Oh, um, zowie. Bev, you see a green liquid in the middle here. Mm. Do I Ooh, detect the essence of De Niro? You do not. Ugh. What? A, he wasn't even in Departed, unless you're just you not. Know was he? I, I thought he was. was. I thought it was. No. I think it was Nicholson. I've honestly never seen. Oh. Him. <clears throat> De Niro, The Departed. Okay. See, I feel like he's in it. I feel like oozes can be. Oh quite no, it's Jack Nicholson. You're right. Damn. Thinking of okay, Irishman. Okay, so the I guess. grayish one, we don't know. It feels like an ooze. Has anyone mm -hmm. inspected this middle one? <clears throat> the green one? I just did, but I did a bad job. Okay, I'll, I'll do try. I just got a nat twenty yeah. on it. Um, oh shit! I crit on the green. <laughs> Moonshine, <laughs> you recognize that? Can goddamn. lose. We're gonna show this uh, ooze. It can lose. Hard one. You want to change fate? All right. Um, I guess I'll I'll swing my hammer at the at the ooze. Great. Um, but as I do, I will I'll let him know that if you surrender, you can join us. We would be unstoppable. Who are you talking to, man? Ooze can't lose, Balmor. You have to be there. <laughs> Uh, ooh, that is a I like need... a cauldron. You put flame under D Matt Damon's bath of water. Oh hands. man, we go full Gerald. Get on in, y'all. <laughs> guys, Gerald uh, of Rivia in Matt Damon's bath of water. <laughs> One awesome. big bath. One big One bath. bath. One, One big, big bath. bath. <laughs> All right, everyone, get in. The Damon's hot. <laughs> 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 Good lord. Uh, I'm going to turn on the air conditioner. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, no. You that? No. You do hear the bath. Uh, you, you do hear that Akarat has accidentally turned the mic on, and you hear him scribbling <laughs> as he writes his poetry uh, really <laughs> quietly uh, humming to himself. What is he humming? Mm. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, that's gonna everything. that's gonna be a twenty four from me. Wow. Um, he is humming along to Lincoln Park, but he's just hmm. doing um the like uh the rappers parts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Um, well, can I go? Convince. It's just too much pressure to take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, you must really relate to those lines, huh? Everything what? you say to me. <laughs> what? Hey, get out of here! Stop listening! Somebody turn the mic off. <laughs> Um, okay, y'all, what do you think that you want to do? Is there anything else to be looted? Okay, I'm going to go for the future. Mm. Very good. Do you want to take some of uh, Damon's bathwater with us? <laughs> I'm going to Oh, I took a shot of Damon's bathwater. Oh, no. <laughs> and what happens? Yeah, Murph, Murph what, should, what do I add? To, do I have to get like... Um, the hard one now has a Boston accent. <laughs> Oh, that's rad. <laughs> wow. It's a new playable race. Selfie. Wicked, wicked sweet. Wicked. I feel wicked smart now. <laughs> oh, hard one. This is not my favorite version of you. <laughs> I, I prefer the vampire. I mean, lean into whatever feels true, but. <laughs> no, I'll back up. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, look, can I look down these stairs? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, you. Look down the stairs. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. It's a dirty 20. Nice. Dirty 20. Ooh. Knock on the walls. Dirty you see... from Damon's bathwater. <laughs> <laughs> you, do a wicked, clear. you do a wicked close look on the uh, <laughs> stairs and the side things. You don't see anything. Uh, you don't see anything in this like corner of the room. All right. Oh, but you in do see. Hey, do you see any fucking pistachios, bro? <laughs> oh, I forgot about the naughty pistachios. <laughs> I have something strength. about the fact that this pit is so shallow is, is tripping me up. Um, I'm going to just throw um, an apple from my pocket into the pit. An no! Apple, an apple from your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> just like an apple. Uh, I guess I, you have a... I had an apple with a couple bites left in it. How how hard do you throw it? Um, you just drop I, throw it it like, I throw it like a softball pitch. But I like travel team, <laughs> travel. Oh, girl, travel team. The windmill. I'll windmill. Okay, if you're gonna windmill on me, I'm uh, windmill on you. You see that the um, moonshine windmills <laughs> throws an apple. A uh, classic crick softball. Uh, <laughs> apple hits the bottom of this pit here, 
and you see as soon as it hits the ground, it's like a pressure plate. You see spikes shoot up and hit the ceiling. I oh. pat Moonshine on the back. I'm sorry about your apple. <laughs> there was a couple that, bites the left apple, in there. The apple has I been know. Come here. And Come cut. here. I feel like I feel like the trap got all the all the last bites on it. <laughs> okay, so uh, I burn a third level slot to do produce food and water, and I make an <laughs> apple for Moonshine. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. I burn a second level spot <laughs> to get rid of the poison. <laughs> um. Okay. So now could we essentially like grab onto because the spikes are floor to ceiling now. Could we essentially grab onto the spikes? So the spikes to get are through? so what happened basically is that putting pressure on the ground here, there there must be like some hidden holes or something that you're not seeing. It just shot up like a javelin almost. So it's just sticking mm -hmm. in the ceiling, but it's not um, Are there any are there any more? Uh, I, go ahead I and give toss. me I toss with... an apple in there also. <laughs> you toss an apple in there. Wait, hard one, how, quick. There's a couple one. bites left in that. Hard one, how hard? Um, Very important. Oh, I travel do, team or not travel team? <laughs> travel team. I spike it like the like Gronk, like oh, Gronkowski. <laughs> baby. Oh, man. Oh, no. Here, Balnor's hands hover around pushing hard one into the pit. Um, <laughs> Uh, hard one, you smash another apple down. You guys just have so many apples. Uh, once again, whoosh, more spikes uh, shoot up and uh, hit it. Uh, it's I everywhere. Would, I would like to toss uh, my one remaining clementine in the pit. How hard do you throw it, Bev? <laughs> Isn't that a Christmas clementine? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you going to gift that to someone in this the This was stocking? from Pelorween, it's true. It's from the, the sacred <laughs> holiday of my people. Um, I, I do it. I, I go between my legs like when you bowl. Okay. Trick so shot. Nice. Like chalk it up in the air and let it <laughs> land. Okay. Um, I'll say that does enough force that uh, once again, you see the spikes go up. How about them Clementines? <laughs> <laughs> oh my darling. Bal Balnor just ready to push him. I think uh, I have some. I think I have some more. Uh, some more Damon bathwater in the in the little jar, and I mm. I motioned a hard one. Like if you ever feel depleted, I guess ask for some more. This is really bringing out something in you. <laughs> you let me know. I thought Valnor, you were threatening to throw Valnor it in the pit. Is, no. is going to do a sleight of hand. Um, Valnor gets a seventeen. Uh, he pushes the Mad Damon bathwater into the pit. <laughs> no. <laughs> You Can dared. I go into a rage and do a post? <laughs> Elixir! <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mujeko's in a rage. Uh, do strength check against Balnor. <laughs> Balnor crit. Wow. Balnor crit? Does that mean he that? automatically beats me? What did you get? Oh, he does. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Balnor, Balnor spikes the Damon bathwater into the into the pit. It would have destroyed us all eventually. Balnor, how did you dominate the conversation? <laughs> Hard one runs back up to the to the tub. <laughs> I fill I fill a bucket. <laughs> Treasure it, Hard one. Um, that's a nine. Um, that's an 11. Cool. That makes it. Oh, great. Cool. You get to the other great. side. Uh, really, right. really labored. Uh, when I get to the other side, I act like uh, Daffy Duck, just so desperate to get a micro secret sauce. Uh, I just need some of that Damon bathwater. Do you guys know that? <laughs> there's, that there's none uh, left. That poster with, like a a, with a cat on it that says, like, hang, hang, hang in, in there, there. baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Beverly looks like that. He has to take like a break in the middle. That's because like I take a break, but I know that on the other side is Damon's secret stuff, and I just have to get at it. <laughs> Damon's secret stuff. Uh, the Damon drink. Ew. <laughs> God, Damon, that's good. <laughs> you simply all have uh, to stop drinking Matt Damon's bath of water. I take a little sip. <laughs> no, Moonshine, you get a Boston accent. <laughs> this sounds wicked I don't even good. know what a Boston accent sounds like. What does it sound like? It's like wicked smart. Yeah, wicked smart. The this juice is wicked Pack good. The car. It's hot one. Pack the car. <laughs> one. Okay. Uh, okay right. So now I'm gonna make a perception check on the floor, the walls, the <laughs> ceiling, and uh, the bath water. Everybody, go ahead and give me. I got a nat twenty on the bath water. Um, That's what it'll do. On the to bath water. Perception check. 
Uh, this bath water is good. Wicked, bath water. Wicked good. <laughs> That's good bath water. Um, moonshine with a I want to nat, put this in my chowder. With a nat 20, you see that there's a dead end down here. Uh -huh. um, and you see that there is a secret door right here. Moonshine, that is your turn. Could I uh, uh, try and dive into it? Just dive into the tapestry? Yeah. <laughs> Just trust in the power of wishes and dreams and dive right. into the tapestry. Um, Bev? Is Matt Damon's bath water not enough for you? <laughs> I want that salty water. <laughs> uh, A little more Matt kick Matt Damon to it. bathed so we could... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we could drink. So we could drink. <laughs> Legend says there's an ocean of Damon's water out there. The merfolk of Matt Damon's bath water. The Matt folk. They swim in it. <laughs> the they live folk. in it. Gross. Good lord, the Matt The folk. Matt maids. Oh, one sec. The Matt folk. Oh, boy. You know, you need the Dungeon Master's Guide sometimes. We're what Matt Damon. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question now and then look at the chat, so that's a warning, no spoilers. I'm going right. to ask, how do you all like the Matt Damon's bath water <laughs> content? The Matt Damon hour. <laughs> <laughs> we're on uh hour three i hate of the it hour. i love it <laughs> love it here for it love that for you that is the perfect response to this mm. love Quality, that damon dialogue it's great wicked sweet <laughs> hate it hate it wicked love it love to see it <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it for the haters I'm doing it for the haters. I feel like it's yeah. that is doing my dream for the as a creator. It's like a nice combination mm -hmm. of I hate it and I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Salty, tangy. Mm. Love yeah, it. What do, you, what do we think it tastes like? Love that for <laughs> You guys, okay. Shout out to the mats. You guys good to go? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you see, yeah. as Beverly <laughs> jumps into this tapestry, you Let's see go. the top of it um folds and turns into like a green slime no. oh, and wraps oh. around beverly as he dives into it um bev you are covered in this dark acidic goo um you take only two damage right now whose bath water um, is it but you are covered in green gunk oh goodness that's um, casey affleck's I'm bath water <laughs> what condition does it look like it's oh. putting him under does it look like it's restraining him it looks him like or? he's stuck in goo and being burned I'm um, in some problematic water right now. <laughs> that is... Six. You don't notice anything on the walls. Jesus freaking Christ! I'll do one I'm on the floor. Yeah. Uh, that's an eight, so you're going to have to tell me everything. Yeah, <laughs> you don't notice anything on the floor. <laughs> All right. I think we're safe. I want to do a perception on everyone's uh, elbows uh, and scalps <laughs> just to see if they're a little dry. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, that'd be really yeah. nice. I got an eight as well, actually. That's a um, nine with my You perception. see Balnor has terrible sunburn, and he is peeling. Oh, I'm going to give a little <laughs> aloe to Balnor. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. it this is a special... I, I blended the goo in the bathwater, and I made sort of a Damon. Oh, aloe. God. What is wrong? <laughs> the fuck's the matter with you? <laughs> I'm, so, like, I'm so scared for everyone because I really feel... I just looked at the clock, and we're already halfway over, which means that we are definitely going to talk about Damon's... <laughs> water for the rest of this i get better yeah. we'll find you something you don't you there don't have to show. you don't let's be clear Where, you don't have to sometimes when the wheels are going it's harder to stop you know <laughs> right mm -hmm. right on. yeah just when you're, you, when, you know what the, let Here's the, the water wash over you yeah the, the joke <laughs> an awesome wave of damon's bath water <laughs> The joke has tilted us just, on a big platform this is right why you into just a big never, bat. You never agree with anything that your uh, players say. <laughs> Not even as a joke. Because then it becomes canon that Matt Damon bathed and Akrod kept the water. <laughs> There's just like a portal in Damon's bathtub at the Hyatt. Oh, Akrod's just like, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> And to be in the same also, water, hard water one born action himself. surged on a naughty pistachio, which I just remembered. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so you guys have this. this is very serious. This is You guys canon. see a corner. You guys hmm. see, uh, yeah, just a hallway. Um, you do see mist coming out from around the corner. Oh, that motherfucker. Mist. Okay. Ugh. What color mist? 
think it, I'm just gonna it looks to be like a silvery mist. Ooh, uh, silver's oh. been good to us so far. Can I do a perception check on this mist? Sure. I got a 24. Do I, does it have any magical properties to it? Um, Moonshine, you get the sense that this mist is not dangerous. This mist, this, 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 this mist. mist. Not dangerous. Isn't it not dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not you hear, dangerous. You hear on the other side, as you sing this mist, this mist, you uh -huh. hear somebody join this mist, this mist. Oh my God, are there people out there? Is that a Triss? Is that a Triss? What? Hey, my, my <laughs> name's Triss. Triss. What are you guys in the mist? This what, mist. What dives in? <laughs> <laughs> Moonshine uh, goes into a rage to try and beat him. <laughs> okay, you guys race? No, I don't. I don't oh, actually okay, rage. Okay. Okay. Um, as you guys around the corner, I see Bev is around rounded the corner here. Um, sure did. I will. I will have. Uh, where's my Balnor light source? Where's my Balnor? I, I could gust the wind to try to disperse the mist. Chris, you guys see um, that there is a Triss in the center of this cave, um, surrounded by silvery mist. Um, huh. You see that there is a small bag of treasure and a large bag of treasure in front of her. And I mean, I'm a, I'm looking at everything here, and the most valuable thing I see is the trees. <laughs> hey, what are you guys? My, uh, what are you guys? Water, what are you guys say, doing here? here? I see what the real treasure is. I, the treasure. I do. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Hey. <laughs> Murph, are we okay. supposed to be able to see the Triss token? Yeah. Do you okay. see it? Okay. So we can see that it says Siren on it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, really? Devastating. <laughs> Sirens are not bad in D&D. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Don't metagame. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, uh, they're, okay. Not, okay. Uh, they're not I'm just bad leaning or into it. they're Moonshine. not bad or good. Yeah. Moonshine fully believes the Triss because she wants to believe the Triss. Okay. Hey, what's up? I mean, this seems like a really bad place to find yourself, huh? Yeah, I don't know. What? How did you get here? Did you come here adventuring or, you know, what? I just can't imagine what would have made a good tree like you sprout up in a bad place like this. Everyone takes a knee and just starts taking intense mental notes. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Triss, Triss goes... Why did I come here? Yeah. I can't really say. See, she just looks off wistfully. Oh my gosh, we've got another Triss who's under a spell. Don't worry, Triss, we're gonna get you out of here, okay? You're gonna get me out of here? Yeah. You're coming with us. You're coming with us. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, just just come forward. You get see, she's, she, yeah, she's in like a little cove. Uh, uh -huh. You see this Triss, this dryad, um, walks down from the cove and joins you. Oh. <laughs> um, hey. Where was the treasure again? Actually, let me see something really quick. Sure. Yeah. That's the way I like it, baby. This Triss, this Triss. <laughs> it is made of wood. <laughs> she is covered in some berries this feels like a very dangerous situation now mm -hmm. or a very hot one <laughs> don't want to make out with Tristan this cove that's fine Balnor and I will uh, I guess we'll just like tie some knots <sighs> this is one of my favorite d20s Nice color. Let me see. It's Ooh. Beautiful. Mustard. And this is also one of my favorite D20s. Um, so you guys you guys invite the Triss, um, and she walks down from the little cove, um, and she joins you all. All uh, right, so... Uh, I report nice towards everyone, did I do something wrong? <laughs> is this okay? Go with your heart. What's up? How's it? What's, what's good? <laughs> you seem you seem really nervous. You should just oh, relax. Nah. You seem you're just you're sweating I'm a good. lot, and it's uh, actually 
pretty cool in here. There's like a mist going. I dab his forehead with some Damon bath water. <laughs> Can I cast Bless on Hard One to help his game? Sure, yeah. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Good. That was all I care about. <laughs> I just right. don't know if anything was good or if what was bad. What's good? Um, well, I've kind of just been, I don't remember why I'm here, but I'm just kind of in mm. this cave. So I guess I could say I'm okay, if that okay. makes sense. Yeah, totally. Like, I'm, I'm fine. That's if fucking that's, deep. Huh. Yeah. You're the smartest person I ever met. Thanks. A lot of people say that. <laughs> that's awesome. I whisper to Balnor, this is the best he's ever done. What are we doing here? <laughs> I don't know. Should we? Hey, hey, Triss, uh, y'all know what's going on inside those chests that you were standing betwixt? Uh, she looks over at the two bags and she goes, I don't, I kind of, I don't really know what's up with those. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, if it's cool with you, I don't want to like steal your purse or anything. I might go check out those bags. I, I don't really, I don't know. Well, Chris, does the name uh, Assacrack mean anything to you? <laughs> Assacrack. Yeah. Uh, I, it sounds like it might be somebody I know. Like, it sounds oh. like it might be somebody I know, like a friend of a friend or something. I don't know. I wish okay, I okay, had okay. some kind of spell to help her. I'm like. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, hard one leans against ooh. the wall in like a really cool way. Wow, that's a really cool lean. Really? Yeah. I was just, this was like just the natural lean that do I you had. Do, do I you like hang, Can I do, do a perception if there's a, a secret lot? door behind him? Sure, yeah. <laughs> just leaned on. Uh, I got a 23. Um, <laughs> uh, there are no false no doors. No secret doors. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about the cove that she came from? Can mm, I peek inside yeah, the cove? Yeah, I guess that we should. Um, you should probably make sure it. she invites you into her cove first, hard one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Permission to enter you, your cove. Do you all want to see my cove? I'd love, love to, to crash your cove. cove. Uh, you look into her cove. Uh, it is shaped like a, a cool seashell. Uh, you see she has um, a, what are those dream boards called? <laughs> a vision board? She has a vision board. Am I on it? <laughs> How? Uh, How? How? A titan I, of Bohemia. I made you hand a picture of Hardwood on it. <laughs> That's true. We were probably in the local news a couple times. <laughs> you see, there is a picture of Matt Damon on it. Whoa. What? I drink this. I actually drank this guy's bathwater. Oh my god, you drank Matt Damon's bathwater? There's a little bit left. <laughs> Can I just ask you what movie, what Damon franchise was it that drew you to Damon? <laughs> you see, she Chris. thinks and she goes, if I'll be honest. I can't even remember the last time I saw a Matt Damon movie. That's so sad. Okay, something's wow. fucked up here. Something's weird. I, I, I might have only seen the one Bourne movie. There's you, so many more. Don't. Nobody yeah, would do that. Wait, Nobody just sees the, one and doesn't more. see the It's called just the Bourne identity, right? And then they, like, just stopped doing the them? The Bourne supremacy, the Bourne what? legacy, the Bourne what are you? What are you talking <laughs> about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Can I, I do... Can I, I, I do greater restoration on her? <laughs> Um, sure. Can I do an insight if Greater Restoration would do anything? Just go ahead, go ahead and do an spell. insight. I got a nat one. <laughs> you got I'll do a nat an one? Too. Okay. Uh, uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Hard one. You guys are surrounded by this like silvery mist. Um, she seems to be like not loving just being stuck here in this cave. It seems yeah. like she can't leave for some reason mm -hmm. or is like stuck here for some reason. Okay, Can do we... you mind if we just walk a little bit away and see if it like brings you back in some way? Yeah, capacity? I can I can go with you guys if you want. Cool. Should we check these chests real quick though? Yeah, let's look at the bags. I rifle right. through the bags like I'm looking for an almond joy in the uh <laughs> in my Halloween sack. Sweet. <laughs> I'm um, looking for a mouse. Which one which one are you going for, Em? <laughs> uh I'll go for the one. I will go for the, the one. The big one or the little one? I'll go for the little one. Reverse right. psychology. Yeah. You go for the little one. Um, Moonshine, go ahead and roll a d10. Oh, a d10. Pardon yeah. me. Eight. Eight. Um, Moonshine, you get... <laughs> I get what? A eight additional points to my wisdom modifier. You get wow. 17 <laughs> gems worth 
a hundred gold each, so 1,700 gold. Right. Um, and what you guys see- What kind of gems? Uh, what kind of gems do you want them to be? Sapphire. Lapis Beautiful. lazuli. <laughs> Lapis lazuli. Um, you guys see as soon as know, Moonshine grabs the one bag, the large bag disappears. Oh. And so too does the mist in the room. Um, and you see that you're left there with this Triss and she looks around confused and she goes, he trapped me down here. And he said that anyone who came in here would be too greedy to rescue me first, but you asked me to come with you before you went for the treasure, so now I'm free. Whoa. Oh, really? Yeah, I. you guys are like the coolest. <laughs> if this is illusion magic, I will feel so devastated, but I feel like this is our first victory of this entire fucking <laughs> cursed place. <laughs> yes. Like, trust me, I looked at it. I thought maybe if you still touched the treasure that I would go, but technically you asked me to come. So I'm like your friend. Wow. Whoa. Like, Glad we're, they, we're you friends wanna, now. Do you want a sip of this yeah. water? Absolutely. Yeah, um, we've all been taking sips for Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Just pour out when the I was and fill it full of Matt Damon bathwater. When I was full of weird gas, I <laughs> thought that it was like a cool idea to drink Matt Damon's bathwater. And now that <laughs> I'm not, I think you know maybe it it's kind of weird. And We're I don't want to judge. Okay. I don't want to judge you guys if you yeah. want to drink Matt Damon's bathwater. But... I think I'm, I'm going to report for his hard one and say she's all yours if you want her. Honestly, that just kind of turned me this, off. Yeah, this dipshit. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> So what? Where are we? What are we doing now? I don't know where are we go. I guess we'll go down. We're trying to find a phylactery and destroy it or whatever. Yeah, right. Let's do that. Right. You should come with us though, or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'll I'll come with you. Yeah. All right. Be cool. If you liked Matt Damon's. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I like. I think Matt on, Damon's yeah. fine. And again, I saw the one Born movie. You then you haven't seen then you haven't if you haven't seen his whole catalog. Okay. All right. Um, can we do? Yeah. Do perception checks along the these side, walls on the sides of the wall. Get my mace out again and just start whacking. Great. It's so crazy that this. You called this a cove. You said it was decorated with seashells. Is this going to be another spot that fills up with water? <laughs> Did the other spot fill up with water? It, no. No. <laughs> what is with the sea theme? It's Someone fun. explain to me the sea this theme. Thing, this or are thing you looks talking, like an oyster. Are you talking about my weird junk room? Yeah, my friend. That was yours. I mean, yeah, I used to hang out in there like all the time. I got with the, I got, with the rotting furniture. Can I, I got, ask you? A question? I got loose, and I would just hang out with the furniture. That's if right. not for or rising unexpected water traps, why did the furniture rot? It's probably like super old. Mm. Oh, could just been like you know mildew think, in the air. You see, she looks around both ways, and she goes, "I think they're from thrift stores." <laughs> Okay, well, see, now you're just personally attacking me because I love I... your stuff. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> Do you have a problem with buying Chase lounges on Craigslist too, huh? Okay, she's cool. She's cool. It's all right, Moonshine. <laughs> what? She's... Honestly, I feel like she just has I... three more Bourne movies to see and then she'll get it. I've never emailed someone and said, Do you have a pickup truck? Because I don't, Do... but I'd love it if you could deliver it. I'll pay extra. <laughs> Being very specific. Yeah, I don't really email people that often. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Well, I guess um, let's hang out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just like turn away from this conversation. Yeah, I mean, walls. I am too. I don't know about <laughs> Tris. <clears throat> That's a ten. Uh, you guys look at the walls. Uh, you guys don't notice anything along the walls here. Mm. Uh, I got a nat twenty on my perception check. I guess Ooh. I'll look at the. I'll look at the. Uh, Moonshine. I'll say with a nat twenty. I'll I'll give you a wall. See, I'll give you the casing the whole room. This seems to be what happened in this room. Uh, there's okay. nothing else to this room. So we got okay. We're out of here. Okay, so we're piecing up. Great. And then okay. just. Beaten feet, I guess. Back out yeah. this door, All right. right? Tris is coming with you. Yeah, She's come on, too. whatever. Okay. Just like open your mind to some of the things that you're kind of close minded. Beverly against. falls in a pit. Whoa! A... <laughs> you see, Tris... I mean, like, what... you got to commit to the pit. Exactly. 
Tris hangs out the door and looks down at Bev and she goes like, oh my God, your friend just fell in a pit. All right, you're actually going to have to go back into your shell. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Sending me back to the that. cove? <laughs> I mean, is there a way that I could just kind of get you out of here, get you home, get Chris, you set Where up? do I go? It's can a big call, tunnel I, full I mean, of traps. Hold on, wait. Oh Trish, my God, are you breaking up with me? For. Can I call you an Uber? Can I call you're you calling Uber? me an Uber. <laughs> I like to call you Do you think? <laughs> you want to call me an Uber? Out of respect, Which I, you know. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? So, I guess so, <laughs> this, yeah. Trish pulls um, you aside. Hold on. Hey. Munchine? Hey, what's up? I thought we were yeah. friends. And just, you're being really passive aggressive. Yeah, I know. And frankly, sometimes very aggressive. It's just, um, you kind of like, you kind of, of express people. some elitist sort of things, like kind of being really anti <laughs> thrift store right, and right. damon well, bathwater right, yeah hard one takes another um, day and sort of like listens really intently i have to learn this so thing too. it's just like i look i want to say like out of respect for everything that happened like i would love to like pay for your uber to get home or whatever um, i just feel like i just feel like we both know where this is going but like i understand you know i, I, I do appreciate it though and i, I, I you see I, I pop, papa goes you. papa goes rare yeah like papa says like he can take her he could lead her out of the yeah that uh oh. this is my uber driver this is my yeah. uber driver papa. Yeah, you see papa has um an abysmal rating <laughs> <laughs> he bites a lot of the passengers <laughs> but in his defense yeah. they deserve it all the bottled water is matt damon water <laughs> <laughs> okay you see papa in a little driver's hat and like one of those uh, stupid <laughs> little red cars with the yellow top squeezes this this twist is just like what like, this is weird and like hangs on the side of it and then the papa power wheels. Just goes, yeah he just goes with, uh and you see papa and the tris uh drive he's in one of those frog yeah, anyways, cars from i slip i do slipper my number though <laughs> She just I slip her my Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you see, like she leaves, and you know she's in an Uber, not doing anything. Still does not follow you on Instagram. I'm in the pit, and I go, "Did she leave?" <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Good. <laughs> she was moonshine. tearing you two apart. <laughs> you handled that like a hero. That was awesome. <laughs> What can I say? I'm nothing if not aspirational. <laughs> I dap moonshine up. Thank you so I think much. this pit pierced my kidney. <laughs> <laughs> You're right down there, bud. <laughs> I mean, in some ways, pride has been fully pierced. Yeah, you followed down a lot of pits today, bud. I've been in a lot of pits. <laughs> I love Ritz bits, but not pits hits. Wow. <laughs> you want to get okay. out of the pit? All right. So I climb out. Yeah, he climbs out. You guys can come over here. Okay. Okay, we're I, back uh, at the crossroads. I put my nose to the ground like a bloodhound and just sniff around for more pits. Sniff for pits. <laughs> you sniff for pits. <laughs> I got a, I got a <laughs> dirty twenty on my sniff for pits. Uh, uh, minion movies, I would assume. Uh, yeah, it's like any any animation job you have, they make you just like build a minion uh, from scratch. I'm not an animator, and I saw mm. minions. <laughs> What's that make me? uh cultured are you, are you threatening me jake <laughs> i'm threatening myself man <laughs> um <laughs> who the hell am i <laughs> um maybe i can look in there and then cast grasping vine and just like attack a column <laughs> there's one more slot and have this oh, one more okay. postcard uh which is of course from shrek swamp uh can i go ahead and put that through uh as you put the uh shrek swamp postcard through the slot you hear a booming voice go hey donkey <laughs> <laughs> and it's it sounds like shrek is is trapped in this in this room shrek is trapped again yet another movie i've never seen but it's i know there. quotes from <laughs> <laughs> my freshman year roommate used to say that'll do donkey everyone everyone give me an inside check to okay. see if you think shrek is actually in there. all right I somebody got... once told me that shrek was once in there okay okay uh, that's a seven 13. um i think i actually rolled pretty well so let's just real quick wait because that okay <laughs> we hear accidentally in love blasting yeah <laughs> 
Can I got you, an answer. Moonshine, you think that Akarat is just loudly watching Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> I convey this to my compatriots. <laughs> It's Wait. just it's just as a crack. He's watching Shrek again. Wait, Moonshine, listen again. Is it Shrek one, Shrek two, Shrek three, Shrek ever after, or maybe right. shared so shared Shrek she said, list? What's the problem, baby? <laughs> What's the problem? I don't know. Well, maybe I'm in love. Think oh, about it every time I think about it. Can't, can't stop, stop thinking, thinking about, about it. it. All right, he's gonna be. So distracted for the entire movie, we have to hurry so we can get the jump on him. Wait, wait, okay. that part's at the end though when they're running oh, no. around, right? Or is it at the beginning when they're in love? Well, is it the beginning of Shrek Two? Is it is, is that is it at the end of Shrek One or the beginning of Shrek Two? Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> he grabs Jeff on his shoulder. <laughs> do we have time or do we have no time, man? Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> can I do a history check? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, that's a uh, that's a nineteen. Okay, real God, quick. you roll so good when it doesn't matter. <laughs> God, Jimmy without fail, Emma. huh? Shrek. Okay. <laughs> Shrek two. Is it, it the is beginning? From, it is. From, is it unless it's from both? Okay, I, hang on. Maybe doubled both. up on it. Okay, no, it's Shrek two. Uh huh. Accidentally in love is a song performed by Counting Crows. It it was featured in the Shrek two movie soundtrack. So I believe it is at the beginning of Shrek 2. When does it play? I think it's in the beginning. Okay. Accidentally in love. <laughs> They're in love. Mm. Hold on, I'm All googling right. when does accidentally in love play in Shrek. There's aren't no they, aren't they just I... like running around in the beginning? Yeah, I think it's during their honeymoon sequence. Yeah. Am I crazy or does my hand look so pale and alien? It really oh, looks normal. <laughs> This it is. I mean, funny. the light is bright, so it's just making you. It's just the glow of my laptop. My light turned off a while ago. It's great. I really like it. So she said, "What's the problem?" Okay. Baby? Right. Anyway, so we have time. <laughs> we got three slots. <laughs> song fucking owns. It rules. And something's happening with a movie song. I've never seen. <laughs> Akron is watching Shrek <laughs> by himself. <laughs> Shrek Two's got some good goofs in it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right wait so when i dropped the postcard through yeah. this is like a perfect way to you've only got out. four the hours first, left the first comment i saw was shrek forever so i yeah. think we're I think you're good. okay um, true. you guys put a coin through the uh, yeah. coin slot through the coin slot through the slit um and it does not do anything okay. <sighs> it doesn't it doesn't return more money <sighs> no it just okay. you hear it you hear it um clink on the other side y'all want to just attack this door ah, i just really want to figure out this puzzle you know yeah me too it's adamantium so i don't know if we could even attack it we have um keys. can you all right uh moonshine do you have a spell that would like squish me into a lasagna noodle so you can just put me through um yeah i mean i could do gaseous form no that won't work i need to be squished into a lasagna <laughs> <laughs> all right i take out it. my lasagna my lasagna maker roller you can just... do lasagna form if you'd like okay <laughs> could you just paper mario I polymorph my a bev into a, a slab of lasagna <laughs> pasta i eat it <laughs> a hard one this that was the bev answer to the riddle don't you understand tomb of horrors was waiting for the druid to polymorph someone into a lasagna <laughs> pasta huh? okay false pasta that's the answer you what find the these false Possibly, I don't. It's possible that false has nothing to do with this. Yeah. Right. Although well, the columned door, the columned hall. Are there? Is there anything in the hall? You find is there anything on the, the walls? False. You find false. the true. Uh, is there any? <clears throat> Go ahead. Sorry. You don't see anything on the walls in the room that you're in, and all you see in the other room is uh, you can see the columns through the slits a little bit. All right. I think I'm ready to bail on trying to figure this out. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll just gaseous form and try to open it from the inside. Okay. Do y'all think that's a good Before idea? Before you do that, can I do one more perception on the door Absolutely. in general to see if there's yeah. any like secret slots? Sure. Cool. I'll do the same. 21 perception. Um, oh, Moonshine, no, no secret slots. Okay. Just the three. Gas it up. Okay. Wait, are okay. there the keys that we have? Are there three pieces of the keys? or is, You, is there... with a 21, you see that these are not like key shaped. Got and it. you just have one key. You put together the two parts to make one. One key. Hmm. Okay. I put my tongue in the slot. Oh, <laughs> it I tastes. My... It tastes like metal. 
I guys, put my tongue. Guys, I put my tongue in the top slot. What kind of middle? There's a little. <laughs> there's a little. Let me I put my, my tongue in the top slot. I put my tongue in the middle slot. You guys stick your tongues in the slots. It, 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 tastes, it, it tastes like metal. What is that? What is your taste like? My taste like metal. I, I swap with moonshine really quick. <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys just—you guys just indirectly made out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are tongue and <laughs> tongue in the same door. You t- tongue in the same Balnor? part of the door. What? Tongue in the same slit. What? You never tongue to slit, Balnor? <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. Go to your room, Beverly. Sorry. Sorry. Beverly. <laughs> Beverly, go okay. back to that junk room. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let me see. You know what? I'm going to make a strange decision and just, you know what? Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time for this cruelty that Moonshine's been what? avoiding. What I don't are you like do? this. I'm going to conjure, conjure animals. animals that everybody oh. <laughs> conjure animals that people don't like. Just, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ideally, we need them to be a bit disposable. So let me look for like a nice, it'd be good if it was flying. Okay. A city pigeon? I can, can I conjure four city pigeons you conjure oh. four city pigeons unless you think that their challenge rating is greater than one half <laughs> no they're hard. they start they're they start out booping around okay i conjure four city pigeons and i <laughs> uh um travel team <laughs> pitch one of them into the Akaram mouth Centrist into the pigeons. devil mouth <laughs> uh you see uh disappears into the mouth uh make a perception check uh, that is going to be a 15. Um, doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it was destroyed. Hmm. Transported. Uh, it's interesting because it does make sense that we would need to get to the sky to then get to this portal, right? Because it's, yeah. it's high up. Can I so tie a rope there... to one of the pigeons and send it through <laughs> and then pull it back? And then someone could speak with animals to it. Yeah. 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 Right. I like that. I do have sure. speak with animals pro- stock for today. Um, you uh, tie a rope. Toss it in. Bring it Toss back. the pigeon in. Um, pigeon fishing. Just like with, with Beverly before, when you cross the archway, rope goes mm. limp as soon as yep. the pigeon goes in the in the mouth. I see. We should probably speak with animals to apologize to the two remaining mm-hmm. pigeons. Yeah. You uh, oh, you fuck. live here hey, now. Was it, that wasn't us. What the fuck did you do to my family? <laughs> oh, you're. Oh, uh, can I understand the nature of your relations to each other? I conjured you, and I thought it was. Yeah, out we're of wicked. Nowhere. We're wicked close. You fucks. <laughs> Is that your cousin? Or your problem? brother? Yeah, it's my fucking brother. <laughs> Is it brother? your mother? It's <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> both. What are you trying to say? You're trying to say that my mother looks like my cousin? <laughs> no. I put my out cousin's a bowl disgusting. Of- I put out a bowl of Matt Damon's bath water. <laughs> they they go absolutely apeshit. <laughs> God, that was a good pigeon. Got <laughs> God about them. Oh boy, you know what? We are who knows how many hours into this. I forgot about the city pigeons. I'm so sorry, y'all. Fuck, where do we park the car? <laughs> you drive. I'm it's sorry. so small. Drive, you can fly and yet you choose to pollute. <laughs> <laughs> I choose up yours, lady. you fucking wicked annoying. What's your problem? <laughs> I gave him a wet willy. Ah. <laughs> uh, I try to drive their tiny car. <laughs> <laughs> you crashing it. <laughs> Yeah, no one, it's just Papa, too small. Papa, Papa has just made it back and like runs into you guys. You guys get very How slow, did that go? I know that was a slow cool. crash. I'm so Papa, sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Did Driss tip, by the way? I just did have Driss my learners. Rear, rear. Yeah, Papa, you know you can you can rate her as well, okay? Yeah. The rating system doesn't just go, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not one way. Right. You see, Papa has a new review that he drove them into a pit um, <laughs> and she was poisoned uh, and he went to Shake Shack and got a shake and made her wait in the car and then uh, kept going, stopped at a different Shake Shack. Two shakes in one day. Got another shake. <laughs> Three shakes in one got, day. Got sick and threw wow. up on the side of the road. Um, driving into another pit. 
Um, in I mean, Papa, you do that I way. like that you're self-made, but I just feel like maybe you yeah. need to temper some of this entrepreneurial yeah. spirit. Uh, and and then finally, more. he and dropped her. He dropped her off in the desert. It's also it's a little fucked up. You didn't get us anything to eat at Shake Shack. Yeah, you again, again. You stopped it. I could have had a burger. Yeah, three I wouldn't different have hated ones. That. Uh, Papa goes rare, um, and he pulls out three very stinky bags of Shake Shack. Five stars, baby. <laughs> Take it all back. <laughs> Let me try to get the crown to Papa. <laughs> I put the crown on Papa. <laughs> yeah, you see, the crown goes on Papa's head, um, and he starts looking around, and you see his eyes glow yellow Ooh. as he looks around the room. Okay, Rare. I grab it. I put it on myself. Uh, I, I, as you go to pull it off Papa, it does not come off Papa. Uh-oh. And I give the scepter to Papa. Papa takes the scepter, and he looks confused. And he goes, Rin? Rin? Uh, And Moonshine, you understand what he's saying is that he knows the only way to get the crown off is to use the wand and touch it to the crown, but he doesn't know if he should use the gold or the silver side. Oh, wait, so- Oh, so the, the crown is abjuration. Is and then the question is, do is this an opposites thing, like with battery, yeah. magnets? I think- Yeah, do you match or go opposite? Oh, this is actually the Rand. most stressful thing. Rand. Oh no! I Wait, feel like yeah. I feel like I'm defusing a bomb. Can we just <laughs> Which wire do I cut? Which <laughs> Um, Hold on, I, wait. Okay, can I ask Melora? Melora, I need you more than I've ever needed you ever in my life. I'm sorry, I know I asked you about my first kiss. How much tongue should I use? I know I asked you about. <laughs> Um, yeah, Moonshine, you don't have you don't have access to anybody here. All you have is your own <laughs> decision making. <laughs> you do know that if something bad happens to Papa, that it is that he will just wake up in the real world with Papa. touch the silver side. Uh, you see, <laughs> no, Papa head. turns to dust oh! and is gone. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh. And you see the crown and the scepter <laughs> hit the ground. You're gonna regret that you did that. <laughs> I did it. I turned to the city. You put the fucking. Just... You go. You all waited so long to do anything with the crown that as soon as he came, you put it on his head. <laughs> I didn't realize I was stuck by his head. Papa. I look at the city pigeons and say, "You saw nothing." <laughs> <laughs> oh. I break job i didn't get I remember I, I remember the worst job interview i've ever had in my life was <laughs> when i went to um this was back we're so old that oh, at someone the time, asked is the D D over it's not over. no no we're no, no, no. we're so we're, we're we're just taking a stupid break um <clears throat> when we were looking for jobs it was back in the day where you'd like go to a store and speak to the manager and like right. give them a firm handshake and your tie. and your resume and i did that in an aeropostale and <laughs> the manager dude not even an american eagle and the, the, uh, i were you I even wearing I, anything from aeropostal wasn't that the whole thing to get a job at the mall you had to wear the clothing of the well first off i did to? wear i did wear aeropostal because it costs like ten dollars to get a shirt there and it's so much cheaper than the other one so i had mm -hmm. aeropostal clothes okay. so i go i give the resume to the woman who's the manager what does your resume say when you're that old like, when you have I, zero experience oh maybe just wear arrow you know too. I, I don't remember if i had had I a know warehouse how to resume I may have, notable experiences walked in front of you i may and have you a i resume. may have i may have had a job before but i went up <laughs> i gave her the resume and she instantly <laughs> interviewed me and i just like wasn't prepared i thought i was just gonna like go and be like hello ma'am goodbye uh and she goes she goes so why do you want to work here and I just go, oh, because I dress like here. <laughs> Did you really? That's all I said was, uh, I dress like here. Um, and I, I was not, like, you're hired. That's was, their slogan. I was not called back. That makes me feel good because I. Um, where they meet, there is an indentation mm. um, with like a little keyhole in the middle. Ooh. Oh. We got a key. Uh, it looks like circular, like uh, like a knob, but like an empty space, like a scooped like out a knob, like a fucking knob, a freaking knob. 
Pendergrees. Oh, hey, Bertrand. Oh, hey. I, hey I, what's going on? Are you, so we're sort of astrally projecting into this sort of dungeon thing. Oh, super interesting, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. How's everything yeah. going with you? Oh, what it's you pretty good. Into? You know that those mothers down here, I've just yeah. about digested the crown. So uh -huh. I'm, down to, I'm down to hang if you ever want to uh, you know, hang out. I'm pretty much. Yeah. Uh, why don't I just put you on speaker for a bit? We're yeah. kind of, yeah, kind of doing yeah. some puzzles. So if you want to fucking chime in and just. Oh, hey, guys. What's going, going, going on? Hey. Hey. Pendergrees, do I hear accidentally in love in the background? <laughs> yeah, you know, watching, uh, uh, forget if it's the. Uh, uh, beginning of Shrek 2 and the end of Shrek 1. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. You're watching uh, a movie, but you don't know which movie or what part of it you are? I'm having a Shrek marathon. And yeah, it's going back to back. I kind yeah, of, TBS, I, yeah. I talked out for a minute there watching TBS and they're in love, so I don't know. Accidentally. And they're accidentally in love, right? So, just weird, like, a like they just got running, married. They're very clearly, uh, intently this, in love. The but, spring that's coming. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. accidentally in love, just that, you know, mm, uh, doesn't I really fit. I couldn't agree more. I wrote to TBS and they said, we didn't make this movie. This is a pretty old movie. And I said, uh, you know what? I think you guys could, uh, you know, change the soundtrack maybe when you replay it on TBS. <laughs> Uh, they came back to me and they said, actually, the writers and kind of the directors and stuff wouldn't be too happy. With I'm them. amazed that you've been getting such quick responses from TBS. Who are you talking yeah, to? Yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, how did you suss out the email that would get you such a problem? You know actually, not that many people email TBS. I'm kind of the, <laughs> not. I'm kind of the main guy. Oh, okay. Because oh, because everyone else is just like tweeting at them. Or like, right, right. Just tweeting at them being kind of knobs. Except right, here's how I open it. Mm. I go, okay. I go, uh, hey, TBS. Very What's the subject funny. line of the email? Sorry. Yeah. It's do TBS, you, or do you do? TBS, very funny indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, so you're kissing ass with that subject. I kiss ass with <laughs> warm up, you're buttoned up. I give constructive feedback when it comes to the, the you know, the meat of the email. I feel yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. You absolutely. catch more bees with honey. You know what mm, I mean? Right, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And catch bees, you do. I look at hard ones. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, I think we're just, I think oh, something. Hard ones, you're, doing the whole, you're doing the whole Venus thing. <laughs> A big, big old Venus on that one. Yeah, you're doing a Venus. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, if they, yeah, if they uh, you know, they sting it there, it'll make it look bigger. That's what I read. In, uh, <laughs> I read that in FHM. Oh, um, Pendergrees, that's so disturbing. Yeah. That's so disturbing. What's the survey? Then I subscribe. <laughs> yeah, they still, they still they just, make those right. in hell, huh? They still make FHM in hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Mila Kunis there. still on the cover of every single issue? <laughs> Mila Kunis is on, you know, uh, she's on quite a few. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Geller, Mila Kunis, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, they're all kind of wearing long sleeve shirts but no pants all the time. So it's sexy but tasteful. It's sexy and it's tasteful. And, you know, Made for the gadgets. I made mean, it kind of to kind of imagine what's going on. I don't necessarily need to know for sure. You know what I, mean? I see, I see. Yeah. So it's kind of like something to get your creativity flowing rather it's than... It's kind of like a browser where it'll be like kind of hang out, me and Rila Kunis just yeah, kind of between, kicking it, you know? Shrek, you're really living in 2002 down there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what the fuck are you trying to say? You're, you're, you're in the aughts. Are you're in the like aughts. We were just talking about the aughts. What, and you're yeah. what, year is it, what year is it not in hell? <laughs> What? Honestly, oh. I think I think we've changed. I think we traded places. Twenty twenty, yeah. we're in hell. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in uh, two thousand four. <laughs> You're in two thousand four. Yeah. Okay, it's a good place think, to be. Uh, yeah, American Idiot. What an album! <laughs> they are sticking it to George W. Bush, the worst, <laughs> worst president we'll ever have. Right on holiday. On holiday, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> they're sticking it to him. Well, good luck with the letter writing campaign, Pendergrass. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah, feel on... free to CC or BCC me on anything. I'll be on AOL. Yes. Uh, yeah. CC, yes, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to be involved. You You'll know? see me. Uh, I, in order for me to get my emails, I need to be logged into AOL. So you will see <laughs> that's my That's not even name. 2004. I'm yeah. sorry. That's even data for what? 2004. Hold on for a little bit there. So let's not pretend that is in it, cause I love your candy-colored iMac. Yeah, it's very, it's so very much, fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. So I still have full time AOL because that's the only internet that we have in here. We have to use, uh, we have to pay by the minute. And, and your greens uh, at AOL.com. AOL. We're at AOL. Well, you know, if you guys ever want to chat, I'll be in the uh, FHM chat rooms. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. What's the gas in the FHM chat? We're having a pretty hard debate about Mila Kunis versus Al Michelle Geller. And uh, it's getting pretty heated. Wow. Yeah. I'm a Buffy, Buffy head all the way. I mean, uh, I don't like them both, but I gotta be honest. You know what? I think nobody <laughs> nobody loses in this contest. I think right? they're both yeah. beautiful yeah. and talented. So I would like to see <laughs> both of them with long shirts on, you know? I mean, I don't think that Sarah Michelle could have pulled off Jupiter Ascending is all I'm saying. I don't know what that film is. I love it in 2004. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, I think, uh, I think they're doing, um, I think Return of the Sith is about to come out pretty <laughs> soon. So I'm going go to go over to... The memory is just stunning. It oh, really you know, I'm really over to good. the... Um, <laughs> pretty into the prequels right now. Uh, <laughs> I just saw, it's been a couple of years since I saw Attack of the Clones, which of course owns, it's, it's pretty freaking good. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like the more Jedi's you can have, the better in general. Mm. Uh, and you know what? I'm just really looking forward to Return to the Earth and kind of seeing uh, what they do with Anakin and everything. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just a lot of Shrek 2, and I I'm not going to understand like, Shrek 3 if I don't. Yeah, uh, I just feel like when there. I talk to you, there's like a roller coaster. Oh, we're just <laughs> trying to say <stay> now. <laughs> Um, intonation and volume <laughs> it's just like we every time it starts on a peak and then we just <laughs> all right well i'm gonna go on AOL and email tbs very funny <laughs> um uh, guys what i've a been fulfilling burning, life i've been burning through strike two and i don't I'm, I'm having a hard time following the plot while talking to you guys so i gotta go best of luck all right. All right, bye, Fender Greens. Love Good you, Fendi. Love, love you guys, bro. Love you, <laughs> bro. Okay. Well, so good to right, know. So we are still Where in the we? tomb of horrors. <laughs> I don't remember why we called Fender Green. I think, I think he called us. <laughs> I think it was just okay. a. We tried to block the number and it just came through. <laughs> All right. Hard one's going to go down these stairs. All right. I'm going to float down as well. Well, you have to, um, I guess, do like, because now you guys are just in a blank. There's no more columns. Now you're just in a tunnel. Yank. You give it a firm yank. The um, yank mage, mage hand can only do five pounds of pressure. So your mm -hmm. mage hand goes up and just goes, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's just oh. this little, uh. Pinky's out, mage hand. Uh. Uh. Oh, that hurt my soul. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'm going to yank it. All right. Sweet. Hard one. You yank it open. A hard pull pulls it open. That was um, left-handed, too. It echoes <laughs> and bangs as the wall it. You're opens thriving, in, my dude. As the door opens in. You guys see a low, <laughs> dust-covered bench uh, is near the back wall of this vault. A bench? After all the furniture we've seen, I'm we've not seen finished. rotting love I'm not seat. finished. I'm not finished. <laughs> That's the end of this fucking thing? You, you find a bench? On like a workbench, yeah. not like a fucking sitting bench. A workbench. Ooh. This is the Lich's vault. You see an abundance of items. You see all manners of um, treasure. Uh, let me see something. All really. manners of treasure. Oh, and so like right, I'm clean of spirit and material desires can't touch me. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what that's supposed to be? Um, it's so late. Is there like <laughs> one second? It's actually it's not all that. manners of treasure, but like, well, are we talk? Is there, is there like snacks you guys, too? You guys see? Um, <laughs> no, I'm pretty you guys see focused. A top. So. You guys see? Uh, the room is basically just filled with treasure, and then there's this like workbench looking thing. Mm -hmm. On it sits a skull with jewels inlaid in its eye sockets what tab sitting atop sitting atop a bejeweled vest oh <laughs> oh my god is wow. this oh still my heart 
all that materialism I was saying I was above is suddenly tickling my heart. Is this the phylactery? What, what type of jewels? Um, you go up and investigate it. Because if um, it was and no material. And you see that they are blood red rubies. Oh. Man. Um, I may hand the vest to hold it up. Uh, do I see any writing on the back, like Boss Bench or uh, <laughs> Daddy's Little Trickster or something like that? Um, Bev, as soon as you grab the vest, the rest of you see <gasps> Bev's soul leaves Whoa. his body. I uh, use Mage Hand. <laughs> Beverly drops. Oh. Um, you see his like his spirit. <laughs> enters the rubies you see the eyes of the skull glow the vest joins him oh so finally you have found my vault and i have finally gotten the boy <laughs> oh no, no. that's what this was about what is with all you bad guys and the boy i just well, wanted he to touched see- the vest it was whoever touched the vest <laughs> yeah i just wanted I don't to see know. you've been courting bev for a while go ahead and roll initiative Oh no. Uh, uh, Bev, Bev, you can roll initiative for uh, Balnor. Uh, you can uh, roll Balnor for this. That's uh, 10. Okay. Um, you guys get the sense that Bev is not dead. His soul okay. is trapped. Okay. Um, that's a 13 for Balnor. Sweet. That I just is... want to see if the best, the best had a kooky phrase on it. <laughs> it's very funny, too. The actual tomb of horrors is if you touch the skull it awakens the dude Mm -hmm. um so i made it if you touch the vest and you you tempted us you knew we were going to touch the vest you knew we had to check that vest i I wanted to see what size it was i knew you had to check you knew we were going to test the vest you knew you knew so akarat uh invited us to his private room and made me try on his vest wow (laughs) what did balnor get uh 13 uh, uh, what did you get, hard one? Ten. I got a, tw- I got a nat twenty on this, and this is not okay. a good thing. Actually, I think I'm gonna. Mm, I shouldn't hold my turn. Okay, um, moonshine. I, I will. I think I will hold my turn. You mm. see before you, um, this floating I, I skull, this floating skull of Akarat with mm-hmm. this bejeweled vest, Akarat's <laughs> last phylactery. Mm-hmm. Do you like it? My greatest invention. <laughs> The vest? You didn't invent the vest. Yeah, you didn't invent the vest. You don't know how old I am. I could have invented the vest. <laughs> Can I do an insight check to see if you invented the vest? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, that's going to be 14. Um, it looks like he got like one of those glue gun craft kits. Um, and- you didn't invent the vest. You bedazzled the vest. I didn't bedazzle this vest. How dare you? You invented something that you only bedazzled. I didn't bedazzle it. You bedazzled us to say you bedazzled it. Bedazzled yeah. vest. You didn't invent the vest. Shut up. Shut you up. You improved the vest. You improved it, but you didn't invent yeah, it. I can, I can acknowledge that you improved you the vest. You made it better. Thank you. It <laughs> honestly means that. the world. That's not a point of contention. It means the world. <laughs> um, Moonshine, you are first. I am going to hold my turn until after hard one. Okay. Because um, I, that is, no. okay. That is Akrot's lair action. Uh, what will? Okay, I guess lair this action. Is his lair. The demi lich targets any number of creatures it can see within thirty feet of it. No target can regain hit points until initiative count twenty on the next round. You just Whoa. feel the cold stink, death in the room. Nobody can regain hit points this turn. Um, that is Akarot's turn. Akarot is going to go ahead and use life drain. Uh, is going to target three creatures that it can see within 10 feet of it. Uh, it can see Balnor, Hard Run, and Moonshine. Uh, go ahead and give me constitution saving throws. 20. 14. Wait, oh, no, no, no. A little bit better than that. 15. Uh, sweet. Um, that is... Do, 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 do. Ooh, I didn't, I shouldn't have done that first, but I did it. What am I going to do? Um, Balnor saves a constitution save. Um, Moonshine, what did you get? I got a 15. Okay. Uh, hard one, what did you get? 20. 
Uh, hard one, you and Balnor pass. Moonshine, you fail. Good luck, Moonshine, I you guess. You take 19 <laughs> necrotic damage. Okay. Um, fine. That is um, Bev, a.k.a. Balnor's turn. Okay. <laughs> there <Nice>. you go. <laughs> All right. Um, he also has his action surge, if you want to use action surge for Balnor. Very cool. Um, yeah, I guess I go. I will. Um, I'll go Sweet. ahead and take four attacks, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so he gets A at this level. Mm -hmm. He has a plus nine to hit. Very and he cool. does one, one D8 plus five for each damage. All right, so that's uh, 25 on the first hit. That hits. Um, how much extra uh, one, did you say? One, one D8 plus five. Cool. Um, how, how much, what, what was his attack bonus? Uh, plus nine. Plus nine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-eight on the second hit. That hits. Uh, Eighteen on the third hit. That hits. Uh, it's gonna re-roll that one. Nice. That is a three. So that one's gonna miss. That one misses. Yeah. All right. And then okay, so that's three hits. One d eight plus five. Yes. Cool. All right. That is eighteen plus fifteen, is uh thirty-three. Nice. Um, nice, yeah. Bev, uh, uh, Bev as Balnor. Bevnor. Uh, Bevnor swings Blue into Akros. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see your spirits combine. Wait, take half my spirit instead. Bev and Balnor <laughs> become one. Bevnor. They look like a young man, I guess. Uh, what was the amount of oh, damage? I feel great. Uh, 33 damage. Great. Um, at the End of Balnor's turn. Akarat is going to take a legendary action. Let like a legendary read. suck of my ass. <laughs> Let me read this character. You're saucier than I remember. I feel so spry. <laughs> I've combined with the youngster of like the DC comic superhero Firestorm. <laughs> A reference for someone. <laughs> um, Merck, did you say plus nine? I'm so sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay. Um, sweet. Uh, Akarat is going to kick up a cloud of dust. I need everybody who uh, just kicks dust in your faces. Everybody give me a constitution saving throw. What gross. the hell, dude? Uh, 22. I got a 10. Um, Moonshine, oh. you fail. You are blinded until uh, the Demi Lich's next turn, until Akros next turn. Okay. Uh, uh, Valmar got an eight. What, what's he add to that? Uh, he adds his saving throws plus seven. Uh, nice. Oh, so that's 15. So he, 15. Passes. he oh, passes. But nobody gets Bev's aura. Right. Cool. Um, what did you get, hard one? Oh, hard one passed. So just Moonshine goes blind. Okay, what does this mean for if, because I held my turn, what does this mean for if I wanted to attack, would I attack with disadvantage? Or? Yes. Okay. Um, so that is Hard One's turn. Okay, I'm going to hit Akarat in the Great. dust with my hammer. <laughs> uh, that is a 23 to hit. That hits. A 29 to hit. That hits. And a three, which I'm going to re-roll with uh, a luck point. And that's a 22 to hit. So all three hits. of those will hit. That hits. Um, I'm going to action surge also. I think I have one more, Holy right? Holy shit. Woo. Uh, so that is a, a 19, a dirty 20, and a 14 to hit. Um, repeat the... Oh, those aren't damage. Those are to hits. Right, yeah. So Repeat a 19, those. Uh, a 19, a dirty hits. 20. Oh, wait, 19, a, 19 doesn't hit. I'm sorry. 19 does not. So the dirty 20 hits. Dirty 20 hits, yeah. All right, so that's four hits. Let me calculate it. It's honestly less of a vest and more of a jerkin. <laughs> you don't know anything. No, look at the collar. It's so high. That's clearly a jerkin, man. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, guys, but I got 69 damage. It's pretty Ew! epic. Um, nice. and if I rolled my, or it, am I allowed to, uh, roll my other hit dice that I haven't rolled yet? 
from my short. Uh, no. Cool. Then I'll, but hard one. I'll second win. Hard one. Here's the thing. Finish him. What? <laughs> what? He only has 80 hit points. This is he clearly had, not. He had. Man. He had a skill that, um, if you fail a Constitution check, uh, it drops you to zero. But all of Whoa. you would have passed anyway, except for maybe Moonshine. It would have wouldn't really have done a. Uh, really wouldn't have made much of a difference. He only has 80 hit points. Oh, yeah, it's a lich. Wow. Uh, let me actually wait. Okay, I'm going to have to ask you a mechanical Regains question at the end of this because I was kind of curious about trying something. Yeah, he does life drain, but it doesn't say that it gives him temporary hit points. I mean, it, it makes sense after a, a massive dungeon like this that you yeah. wouldn't necessarily uh, fight. Hard one. Finish, finish Akarat. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I twirl my hammer around and I say, you know what, buddy? Let me call you an Uber. And I hit him. <laughs> I hit him in the face at the same time as I pick up my speaking stone and I request Papa to come back. Papa to come back. I will say, Papa, uh, put on your formal wear and as undergo a ritual to rejoin us in this hell. Get in the uh, tiniest car you can find. As and bring the, us burgers. As, as the two, as the tomb of horrors, uh, uh, like shakes as it's being like destroyed as you have defeated Akarat. You see the magic that like protected this place is broken and Papa is allowed to come back. You see Papa goes <laughs> near Rio and uh, Akarat goes, what? No, he has an abysmal rating, an abysmal rating. <laughs> you Get see, in. You see it's Papa. a two. Papa, him, blast a podcast. Let's him in the car. <laughs> blast some um, inspirational speakers. Watch loudly, CNN on an loud, iPad. <laughs> loudly plays the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> no, no. Um, and then Papa is going to <laughs> put the crown on the front of the car, put the silver end of the scepter at the other end of the room, and then just drive him and Akron into it, and they both explode into dust. Uh Papa safely back to the material <laughs> plane, but Akarat is gone forever. You see, as Akarat's uh, skull explodes, the ruby gem breaks. Um, Bev's soul is freed from the gem <sighs> and rejoins hey, uh, buddy. his unconscious body that was on the floor there. <sighs> what did the vest say? What did it say? <laughs> what did it say on the back? Did we see? Um, Daddy's little trickster. You were right. You, you oh, were right. They said Daddy's little trickster. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on. I wait. I have a question, Murph. What yeah. I was gonna, I, I, I'm curious about this mechanically in the future. In this moment when I had no spells, but he was doing layer actions, I was like, if I could thorn whip him out of this vault, would he no longer be able to do layer actions? Huh, that's a good question. Oh, um, I figured that I, the entire tomb was his lair. Yeah, I think this, I, I think like this room was his lair. Maybe if you pulled him out, I don't know how effective that would have been, but ultimately, okay. I. You guys truly have always done so much damage that when I saw that this dude only had 80 HP, I kind of knew he was fucked. Um, <laughs> and you guys just uh, completely whomped his ass. So very fun. Very congratulations. Fun. You guys have won the Tomb of Horrors. The <laughs> uh, spoils. The spoils are yours. You guys get. Um, oh boy, what is in this a ton of cash? You guys get a ton of cash. A ton of cash. And you said this is canon, right? So we're going yeah. back fucking loading. You guys are going back. You can bring this money back to the crick. Oh man, this is going to the dwarfenages everywhere. This is going to the dwarfenage and the crick library. Uh, so you guys get characters who survive the demi lich's wrath can claim any loot they can carry inside the vaults. Ooh. You guys get ninety-seven small gems worth ten gold each. Um, uh, huzzah! Three huge gems. A ten thousand gold peridot, a fifty, a fifty thousand gold emerald, and a hundred thousand gold black opal. Three huge gems. Three you huge get, gems. Yeah. <laughs> you get four magical weapons. I shove weapons. it into my belly button. <laughs> uh, it looks awesome. I gauge my ears. <laughs> uh, the magic weapons are a defender, which is a great. Um, I think it's a Ooh. good paladin sword. A sword of vengeance. A berserker axe. And a spear of backbiting, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. In fun. addition, it's like a back scratching spear. Yeah, the horde. <laughs> if you have like, if you have like really painful back knee, that'll pop it without. Ew! It it's got that a little scorpion a tail oh on the end. Is that a bio break? <laughs> uh, yeah, literally. And you guys, you guys uh, get all the stuff, and you guys have defeated the uh, tomb of horrors, Ooh! and everyone survived. You oh all my gosh. made it.
There was a point yeah. when I was like, okay, now I don't want my backup characters. Can we all talk about our backup characters though? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's talk about that. Obviously, I just did Binky Fiasco, but I built Binky because it was 11 uh, levels. Uh, I built Binky as three levels of Warlock Tome of the uh, Pact of the Tome, and then <laughs> and then eight levels of Shadow Sorcerer. Wow! So that I was basically going to use. Uh, oh, and it was the Warlock was Warlock of the Deep, so I basically could summon this like eldritch uh tentacle so i thought like that would be a good way to test for traps that's great <laughs> oh you can just summon it will i want to yeah. guys do you want to um oh yeah let's go through that's a little bit or do you want or do you want me to go through the map and show you guys all the things that could have happened go through the map yeah. Yeah. you guys yeah. kicked this dungeon's ass like just yeah. in <laughs> in the little moments where you were deciding where to go and it was just kind of a coin toss, like, let's do this instead of that. It was always, like, choosing the right for hanging out, too. Yes. Wait, what was everyone's, um, what was everyone's backup character? Oh! Yeah. I feel oh, like we have mine, to do Wait, I gotta go first, because mine's boring. Mine was just gonna be Jivalin. It was gonna oh, be- Oh! Devastating! Which is kind of funny, because Jivalin would just be like, cool, I attack? <laughs> yeah, Jivalin would have also died really fast. Uh, <laughs> But I want to hear about you guys. You guys rolled like I it. said I did Binky Fiasco and I made a, a weird ass warlock sorcerer. I, I I made it specifically for this. Like I all the spells I stocked and abilities I chose were like, oh, that seems good for sneaking and stealthing and triggering traps. And I, I remember <laughs> I showed Murph a list of um magical items last night, and Ooh. I was like which of these can I have? And I like showed him a couple things. Like they were, they were really weird ones. I went through all like the super weird ones. Like there's a talking doll <laughs> in D&D Beyond that you can get that during a short rest, you can put six, um, <laughs> you can put six uh, phrases into it. So I was like, can I have this talking doll, other stuff? <laughs> but one of them was the, an eagle whistle <laughs> that as long as you are blowing it, you can fly. That's and Murph was like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, because I asked Murph if I could play uh I wanted to play a uh flying lizard based on uh, Eric Cocker stats. Which is basically thinking about those lizards that have like gliders on their sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Side gliders. Um and he said <laughs> no flying. No flying was the only rule. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if you guys that just column room, we were all flying. All yeah, I know, but that was that was at that point you could only fly, so it was a disadvantage. <laughs> um, but think think what this would have been like if Beverly didn't fall in traps. Yeah, it would have been that's so what it Murph, was, Murph was like. If you if Moonshine also I, I dies, kinda... he he was like if Moonshine dies and Binky shows up and just goes and flies <laughs> over every trap. That's so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Uh, that would have been very fun, though. <laughs> like, hey, I guys, here I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, Hi. Did you, did you come up with a voice for Binky? Like, were you um, I, I was just going to go with whatever I felt like the need for. There was a part of me that wanted to do a very serious Slavic man who had uh, died and given his bones to the next heroes who came like to awesome. aid them and then there was another part of me that wanted to be like erotic jessica rabbit because that's so strange that's wait like, a minute a jessica, that's like his, a minute. just a sexy redundant <laughs> a sexy a bone sexy, man hottest cartoon yeah. character of all time <laughs> just that a really soldier like a voice from just a these, pile of bones i got you just kind of like a <laughs> oh be like, you can really... see my rib cage <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I think I was deciding, to, if, do I want to be like really serious or do I like an honorable or do I want to be confusing? Well, do we want to test them out? Like maybe <laughs> Beverly and Hard One meet Binky for the first time? No, we got to save that for something else. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> it's going to happen. I want to say- Oh no, B my metatarsals. Binky would have been an easy one to incorporate into the Tomb of Horrors because you just find a skeleton and you just joined your party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um i think yours was a little more thought out mine was just like this seems wacky and weird uh, i had a um a lizard folk named zexley zephyrtail 
who was going to come in. Uh, uh, Zexley is an arcane trickster. Um, I based it off of the plumed basilisk, which is the uh, the Jesus lizard that can run on water. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. Uh, wow. and I was basically going to have him talk like Matt Barry, so it's just going to be like a very proper lizard. <laughs> It's funny how we both kind of wanted to be like really stoic and noble with our yeah. second character. Well, <laughs> this is absolutely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I can't believe- Did that believe- boy die? Did that boy fall in a hole? 